Monday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. And uh, hello. What's up, gentlemen? What's up? How you doing? Good. Ah, Blood hey. was here the whole time. Yo, Blood was here I the whole time. My hat. Oh, it was just a what surprise. A, what a match, bro. <laughs> nice. You know, speaking of hats, I decided I to rock my Ripaverse hat because today Ripaverse has unveiled their new. Uh, kickstarter crowdfunding it, well it's not a kickstarter it's crowdfunding it's on their own website campaign for yara is okay. it yara yeah yara 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 mm-hmm. i don't actually know how to say it um no idea but it's like kicking butt like holy shit it turns out guys like hot girls who would have known the, it's just I don't know with about that. mystery big big titties still, um, i still don't believe it you don't think so? <laughs> nah. Why are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? Thank you. Thank you, Garrett. I appreciate it. I that. know what you were talking about. Uh, I know the reference. Well, it, he drove it home, though. It was great. What did Garrett say? Wait, you, what? You, oh, you pushed a button. Yeah. What? Oh. Power of he, the drove, he drove it home. I'm late. I'm My headphones are low. God, I don't know what's going picking on. It up. Are you what's, okay? What's up with this like, black room that you got here? Yeah. Like, what is happening here? That? That is uh where I built it. That's out of, where you keep out of, the prisoners. Uh, PVC pipe and uh, moving blankets is where I record. Oh, record you can get like a little audio booth. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, nice. yeah it's okay. uh, you know. Right. It looks like Rapper shit. shit. Um, Rapper just shit. It, I mean, it really does. Come build like me one, Mister Swedish Handyman. I I could. <laughs> I mean, it would look better. I got than extra that. foam. Just, you need some foam. Just saying. Like... No, no, no. What I needed was just for the. The vocal reflections not to hit my kitchen and aren't you really here. comfortable in a closet? Okay, <laughs> it's hot in my closet. I actually tried. <laughs> you ugly. <laughs> the heat doesn't reach. I mean, the, the AC doesn't Garrett, reach my, closet. my man. My man, Fuck out of here. Fuck um, out of here. Fuck out of here. <laughs> so we are going to be discussing attractiveness, okay? Because there's there's this big internet <sighs> battle right now that's going on, <laughs> and it is it really is the stupidest thing, and I truly believe it's just engagement farming to the max it is mm. i tried and, to avoid it but right I, dude, it, it was fine. nothing i have my whole feed man yesterday yeah. my whole all feed. it was dude the nothing entire chick's face I and I, I'm, and not, was like, I'm not doing you it see this and i was like get out of my face yeah i haven't tweeted about it i don't want to tweet about it i don't care I about it but i'll talk about it yeah i'll talk about it on the show for sure i'll talk about not it not tweeting about now, it now now i do have the tweets up so it does count as an impression, but I, I, I still I want to talk about it a little bit, you know, and well, half of it is like I want to talk about like the engagement farming side of Twitter or X, whatever. And then I also want to talk about like the beauty standard argument. That is what this whole beef is about, because I think there's two different conversations to be had. And for well, let's just talk about the original it's so let me just show you what it is really make it easy this was what started it all okay it was this tweet by this girl samira samira khan i i don't know who this person is never heard of her before um but she she says this accent needs to be illegal and women should be banned from doing manual labor like this there is nothing feminine about american women american women are literally men okay there's so many <laughs> levels here that's funny i didn't even read the tweet she, she, she goes 
she goes out <laughs> against all ugly. American women. Yeah. yeah. She calls all American women men and that <laughs> all American women are not feminine at all. Just, which just is to re can we insane. click the profile picture? I, I I do want to bring that up. So yeah. we can set the baseline here for what her ideas of what being a woman is. Let's. Uh, hey, is she a cross dresser? Heavily a... caked makeup, fake I saw ass that. lips. It's like that drag queen nose makeup. job. This, this looks shit. like a man. Yeah, this looks like a man. <laughs> That's a man. This looks With... like a skin suit that. that looks... <laughs> or really or a skin on her face. Yeah, this is hilarious. That this woman of all women would go out of her way to attack what being feminine is because this. As far as I know, every man that I know thinks this shit looks ugly as fuck. Yeah, I can't this is stand the, it. This is the kind of woman that probably has no teeth and fake oh, lips yeah. and fake every. You know, you know that video, they do that whole video, and they that video where they put their oh, lips yeah, in, they the... their teeth in, mm -hmm. they put their makeup on, they do a spin, and suddenly they got like <laughs> nice hair, and then they got their lashes on, and then and then you're you're taking them home, and then you you think you're going to sleep next to this. Yeah. But then you wake up next to Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? It's like that. Yeah. So this woman of all, like, girl, you, you, what's feminine about that? I mean, that's toxic femininity, wouldn't you say? It is. No? It absolutely mm. is. Right? It absolutely mm. is. Well, because who, who convinces women that that's what men want? Women. Women it's and gay men. men. They're trying to, okay. Basically, I would argue thing. that gay men invented that kind of makeup. I that's what I'm saying. It looks to, like RuPaul to do what? Drag queen to shit. trap like, guys in the 16th century or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, France. Yeah, it's a yeah. French thing. It looks like. It I mean, looks, what is yeah. drag? I think it's I like a, a it's like, like a show thing, but now it's like. I think that's an interesting question. That's a really interesting question. I don't know if it's like the time to bring it up, but like the okay. idea. Of, I, all right, no, ignore well, it that I asked that. Yeah, the idea of drag. The idea of drag. The idea of drag used to be to dress like what? I said ignore that I asked that. We're moving on. Okay, I'm gonna go back now to okay. the original okay. tweet. Okay, now the accent is just Alabama. Yeah, all right. It's, it's a country a, accent. Southern country. It's very thick. Alabama. Yeah. It's. I mean, a very it's thick, thick accent. I like. You it. know, I, I think it's cute. Actually, I think I think the southern accent on on a girl is cute. Yep. I don't. I don't find it strange at all. Like that. Yeah, I. Yeah. You know, I lived my whole life in Texas, so. That's Hold on. Can you guys why. hear this? Good morning, y'all. Yep. Quick update yep. on the house because I've been pretty terrible about giving y'all these. Um, we took a little break for noodling season and to put out boxes. Now, okay, I don't know what noodling season is, but noodling she's, uh, is where you stick your oh, arm please. into holes in the river to yeah. get catfish. Oh, for the oh, catfish, oh, right? Like she's the catfish woman. All right, yeah, so this girl like went that. famous uh, uh, like a year or two ago, actually, for wrangling oh, catfish. Kid? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's I actually. I I have her. This is her page. This is her new one because she just this is she didn't have one before this she have right recent now? one. She just made an account like, yesterday. All right, so that's pretty here's odd. one of here's one of like the famous pictures Damn, of her, that's right? That's a big ass fish. Holy fuck! She's, she, I mean, she's a babe. Like what? Yeah. It's insane that this other girl thinks that th this isn't feminine at all. Like that's that's like a a, a realistic Tomb Raider kind of vibe. You know, what <laughs> what I mean? a lot of people post. You know what I mean? And it's like a hundred percent. She Tomb dresses Raider. like this when she's noodling or when she's building a house, but she yeah. dresses up like a trad wife when she goes out and does stuff. Like that's like two. That's the same person. You know, like yeah, there's exactly. totally fem feminine. Yeah. So like if you live in the south, you know. I think I think that we built this idea though of the frail damsel in distress into like um, into your European and American femininity. So like I can see why I don't know where that lady's from, but maybe she comes from a place where dropping a handkerchief is being a woman. That's what her mother taught her and there's part she's, of this can I think it's like hey, that's fine Le if that's from Lebanon or Lebanese? Is that a place? Is she? Yeah. Lebanon that's what, that's what I heard too. I think well, Samira I think that's chick? what Samira, Samira, uh, the also, girl who's calling out American yeah. women for not being feminine. Here's the problem. Yeah. I think that both That's versions exact. are are. It's a bunch of dudes talking about how, what it's, what it is to be a uh, female, but I think both of those <laughs> is feminine. Like you can be no, like, oh, I no, drop no, the thing a and like you pick it look, up for me, or I go out and fish and stick my arm in holes and get catfish out. Like that's those are both feminine. The, I don't understand the, why the problem or. The, the reason why a guy is talking about this and why that should be what who's talking about it is because they're talking about 
uh, and where this devolved to was what's if you're attracted to this you're gay like that's what they're saying I saw it was basically, Wait, really it's based oh. yeah, yeah yeah it's basically this girl samira Dude, that must be other, so other, much hold on hold on and this and this other guy sad <laughs> or something s Sa sad or something um i i don't know here, let me here here it is Dude, I always so thought is, Tomb Raider. This was is hot. this is like the other tweet, all right, that has been going viral. All right, fourteen million hits on this one. There's like fifteen on the other one. Any I'm man sure that finds tomboys I mean, attractive, and any man who finds tomboys attractive is gay. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that is a ridiculous statement. What? Yeah, tomboys. Because are what is a tomboy? A tomboy has nothing to do with like physical appearance. A tomboy is is the type of girl uh, like her personality. She likes to like climb she, trees. She goes she, out yeah, in the woods. She she, she freaking goes mudding. She yeah. fishes. She's she hunts. Healthy, like healthy activities. What? <laughs> right, right. Healthy uh, hobbies. See, people don't like that complain about this. Don't really know what hobbies are. Um, it's like, it's like she she's okay with doing manual labor. It's like, do you know what humans did for most of humanity, boys yeah. and girls? They fucking worked. Does she right? have a real vagina? A, That's the yeah. question. Does she <laughs> that, have a vagina? She, she does. <laughs> then you're not gay. That's plain yeah, and that's the end of it. That doesn't even make yeah. any sense. I mean, what about women in Africa and India carrying water on their heads? Like, does it make yeah, you care right. about all that? No, better <laughs> guy, put some work in. These, these two have been doubling, triple, quadrupling down. Here he goes. <laughs> He's continuing on. Tomboys are not hot. I repeat, tomboys are not hot. Attraction to tomboys is homosexuality, and women shouldn't be working outside. What kind of man lets his woman work outside like a man? Uh, she is letting herself do these things because she seems to enjoy herself. Why do and people engage she's... with this? That's what I don't understand. Like, why do people even comment on posts like this? It's clear because the happening. well, dude, you know, the internet loves to you be right and loves interact. to shit on others. And it it's like a freaking battlefield, mental battlefield. And people are emotional and get triggered easily. So they jump into this shit and let it happen. I did That's tweet about it. That's what this is about. Because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, this is fucking just engagement farming. It's engagement farming. But I just like nonstop, nothing but that. So I was like, fine, I'll just say something about it. So my problem was not with this fucking random ass bitch that's in Lebanon or whatever the fuck, or this guy, because obviously <laughs> they have completely different views on women, probably hijab related. Yeah. My problem was with the red pill community that's on Twitter specifically that claim to be this like, we've broken through all these walls, man. We red pilled. We're so red pilled. We've destructed all this stuff. And then the entire seem to be movement has spread out so far and has so many fucking insane insane people that say opinions and then other red pillars jump on and i'm talking like you know this maga or or conservative people that are just fi fighting the system right they then latch on to that person and it's not just this these people multiple other people will say crazy shit stupid shit like this and then others will jump onto it and i'm like at what point did you guys lose track of reality? Like, mm. this is not gay. It is not gay to have a girl yep. go out and work on the farm. That's literally the trad the wife you guys have wanted. It's the internet. You put that woman in front of these people without right. any internet, they all, that all goes out the window. Everything they right. say on the internet does not exist anymore. These people are all internet minded. That's it. It's Twitter. It's that. It's that weird Twitter shit that just. Yeah, I agree with you that people don't have a place to stand, so they're looking for something to stand for. You know, yeah. that that seems like a thing. Mm, but also yeah. the Lebanese thing, kind of, you know, because she comes from like a Muslim culture. They, Look at her face. There's probably some rules. Look Should at I bring her face, back? though. Masculinity, like, femininity. Who cares with the Muslim culture? She's lying. Look at her face. She's an attention whore. Clearly. That's definitely that just just by the amount of yeah, product that is on exactly her face. Opposite. She ain't joking about no real. I mean, she cares about it could be. It could be also. Well, she well, thinks if you were that a that's Muslim, what femininity is yeah, to be if, a doll. If you were told yeah, that you were gonna, feminist. if you were told like, that they mm. wanted to kill you if you wore makeup and you should wear a hijab, so wouldn't you want to wear makeup? Like it feels like also there might be a cultural thing here. Like I would wear so much makeup if they told me not so to. Her entire know. personality is fighting itself. <laughs> 
is what's happening. Mm. Everything. Yeah, exactly. The same I, time that's, I feel like, together. and I feel like also it's a class thing more than a feminine thing because in Lebanon, like if you don't have servants, like you are one or it's become oh, it's that like way a, a caste system, like in India. It's not, you quite, know it's not quite a caste, but socioeconomically, it's been like that forever. And it's got really, bad I think she would be more attractive if she had less makeup. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the case. Like everyone yeah. with cape she, on. Depending on what's under there. Yeah. She, she, probably no has a uni- under. she probably has a unibrow. Good point. Charles. Good point. You never know. Unibrow. But maybe unibrows are good, like Frida. So that's again, that's the thing. It's like, why is this is Frida's lady unibrow going out good, there and though? saying? <laughs> mm. But some guys saying. might be into that. Out. I don't know. Unibrow guys. Frida kind of looks like a freak. I'm just saying. But like, I, look, I don't like. I don't like this. Like, this is ugly, and this is pretty. Frida's not very attractive to me. Um, Selma Hayek was almost made it, but in reality, yeah, but it's like really just all play, Selma whole, Hayek doing It was job. just Selma Hayek. I mean, it's hard to make her look ugly. You know what I top mean? Top tier, top tier. They, but they did. They did, their they did try. try. Love her. <laughs> Selma Hayek is a babe. Love her. She yeah. always will be. Yeah. Um, anyway, so the other side of this argument, right, is the whole engagement farming part of it, right? And I have a tweet that uh, a buddy of mine, some bitch I know, yep. other, some L. might know her. L, she's freaking awesome. Her. Uh, I've been following her for quite some time. Uh, 2020. Yeah, she's fantastic. She posted this and I was like, nailed it. Right. And she said, Elon Musk, you literally ruined Twitter when you started paying people for the engagement they get. I hope you understand that quality on everything has absolutely gone to hell. Mm. I think that's 100%. Twitter has Absolutely. not been the same. And I I've, I've had I've had to unfollow people. I've muted people. I mutuals. barely touch Twitter now. I it's just it it's not the same. I don't enjoy it anymore. It just feels like people are just using either hate clicks battles like this this entire thing that we just talked about or um I mean that's really what it is. Or people retweeting stuff from TikTok or retweeting other people's videos it's becoming like conservative f- free speech tiktok and i say free speech with quotes because yeah because it's not it's yeah. not free speech. you know what it reminds That's a me of load yeah. of crap what have you ever been to uh the white house in dc like in front of it that street that's right in front of there with a gate of course yeah, yeah yeah if you've been there you know what i'm talking about you go there and you're like you have families that are just trying to see the White House that look, oh, look, it's the White House there. Uh, I visited when Trump was there. Um, and you have families, you have people just kind of walking through, just seeing the sights. And then you have crazy ass motherfuckers with giant signs and horns <laughs> and all this cra- it's the homeless That's people Twitter. that are like just dancing around. And like, that is Twitter. Twitter <laughs> is the front is. road it's in exactly. front of the White House. It's just, <laughs> you don't get any actual conversation or points being made. It's not really, it's like free speech at the cost of like uh, actually being able to hear each other. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it. Twitter is so cringe now. Everything is engagement. Even the cool accounts that used to post interesting stuff about history or whatever is just yeah, become this. Dis- it's completely phase masks off, just trying to get clicks. It, yep. it really is the worst. It it sucks. And it, I hate seeing it things before, viral. but it sucks now. I, I hate viralness, bro. That's right. exactly. Yeah. I want, it's like I want, a disease. Yeah. I want the inverse of Twitter. I want like remember stumble upon. I want something that's like yeah, that was fire. Yeah, yeah. I used to love yeah. stumble. They're like shut Wait, that what's, down. What's, what's stumble upon? Oh, yeah, bro. You can tell them. That, I used to love that site. You no, you go different tell... sites. It was like just a bunch of cool shit. You know, you if you could have a site to have like an activity or like facts or like history or like. It just brought you to cool websites on the internet, and if you didn't like it, you go to the next one. You just stumble upon like just dope shit on the internet. Stumble it was upon fire. It was yeah, like weird, but actually like cool. To find random stuff, it was like yeah. anti-viral. You were like, "Oh, this is some fire. weird site that hasn't gotten enough publicity, but someone it was saw so it once." And but everything's been cool. funneled into these very like four or five specific websites, so advertisers can just go there. They don't go to all these independent because, like, something like stumble upon, you go to somebody's random HTML website that has interesting facts about. Like, I, I've been looking into building a, a repulse or a pulse rifle from aliens. Like just a prop, mm. and then I found this website you of a just guy. A prop for the government comes out to you. Yeah, yeah, right. it, it is not real. So I, I found this website that's like <laughs> right. 1998, and it's got every single detail about the gun from the movie. It's all photos and everything, like all the reference, and it's been updated since then. But it looks you can 3D printed. 
Yeah, you can. Yeah, he has the 3D printed files and everything. That's crazy. Cool. But it's like you can't have a Google AdSense, you know, like specifically for that site. It's yeah, easier to funnel every. Well, you can, but it's easier to follow everybody into Twitter, Facebook, yep. YouTube, yeah, these is. very specific sites. So of course they're going to try and funnel traffic to those. Yep. It behooves them to have less websites and more users. Yeah. It's yep. Evil. Well, yep. both of these girls ha have social media accounts. Like this Hannah girl is, I, I don't know, hundreds of thousands on Instagram and TikTok and. She's not on Twitter, but she's on these other sites. And then there's other girls, Samir. Now, well, now she's on Twitter, right? With 32,000 followers already. Uh, and she That's just crazy. joined. Imagine going viral and not even being on the site. That's yeah, wild. Right. Exactly. And then this Samir girl, she's got 230,000 followers and I guess works for RT or I don't know what she works for, but she's her pinned tweet is her doing an interview for RT. So I don't know what. Uh, who she actually works with, but it says she's a foreign policy analyst. Why she's commenting on American women? Uh, I think it's just engagement. Honestly, it's it's all all it is. So, but that engagement farming, it really did change Twitter, and it's it's a shame. How much money Twitter would she make from sixty awesome. million impressions? Do you well, think sixty? Yeah. 60 million like i mean bucks, i got 200 bucks um? no more than that probably. $100, that's crazy <laughs> no more no definitely be more than 100 crazy. 60 no because i i think i got uh the most i got from twitter in one month was like 200 dollars, 200 something dollars and mm -hmm. i had probably 15 to 20 million impressions okay, in yeah. the month right so 60 so million one. you're gonna get yeah. you know 800 six to eight hundred bucks probably something like that so you can imagine the people who get billions of impressions you know it's just the, sad that is like i don't know if that's like your only source of like entertainment and, and like the way you try I to mean, get money out of like whatever, if it's a know. job and it works do it i guess okay but if you're i just only... mean personally for me that's it's, it's it'd be sad if i was right. just doing that i know but th there's a thing about posting stuff that is quality that actually goes viral and you make money because you're just making content that works and people yeah. enjoy it like that's cool but that's so that shit is round you, yeah. you can't even see those accounts because there's just way too many ian miles chongs right yep. you know out there that are just like oh what's trending i'm gonna take that um re reword it and whatever put yep. it out there my own and it's like i i can't stand it so many people that i've followed for many years don't post original opinions anymore they just see what's trending comment on it and then retweet it with their own version of uh, so like garrett said he's like yesterday all i saw was this woman's face because yeah. everybody and their fucking mother was tweeting their own opinion about this stupid <laughs> fight between some other country yeah. woman and like, like a, a caked makeup caked woman and a country girl like who mm. fucking gives a shit and what, it won't matter what? tomorrow yeah like are you serious like but Biden it'll come back in a year and yeah yeah you know, it's all is coked yeah. up yeah. I, exactly or even in a month or who yeah. knows yeah. like it's like the rage bait it, the people don't even give a shit it's like man the goldfish yeah. brains of of the people that scroll it's just I, ruining it i saw that with okay do you guys remember like a year and a half ago maybe two years ago there was one of those videos where they're asking teenagers or high schoolers or whatever university girls what what does it take to you have for a guy to get you right and it was that big fat bitch and she was like i ain't gonna go home with a man unless he has 500k yeah, it, oh, yeah. it was like in that thick uh, Australian. Yeah. I was accent. like, "What are you right. talking about?" And they're like, "Worst thing blew was up. I remember that." People got all yep. mad about it. They were blah blah blah. All opinions, just the exact same thing. The firestorm of outrage yep. and counter outrage Memes and everything, right? Yep. Memes and everything, right? Now, uh, just a few weeks ago, I saw the exact same woman, except this time it's been set up to look like it was organic. Because the first one was organic; it was somebody going around and asking people. Now it's her that had somebody ask her again in an outside area and she takes the takes the microphone and looks in the camera and then says the exact same thing and Revile it got again? it going again like there was a freaking like multiple 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 thousands of impress impressions on this one tweet that was just a recreation of the first one <laughs> and i'm like you know what i don't even give a fuck 
if she knows what like, she guys. wants, good luck, girl. <laughs> okay, my, but I'm really. saying like it, it's this weird hey, dystopian hey, hey. disconnected you know? from yeah, reality no, like, recreation like that people are know, getting outraged about you know, that like, doesn't even exist anymore. Sometimes George will share a video and it'll be like it'll be fake. You know what I mean? Like he'll share like a video. Like, this is awesome. Somebody right. doing something and it'll be like this isn't even a real air air. Uh, it's plane. not even oh, a real airplane. Yeah, yeah. I know, <laughs> like, down. And I love oh, George. Yeah, I love George. Those yeah. Ones. Yeah. And I love George, but like I just I feel like <laughs> am I I know I'm supposed to be like the conspiracy theory guy, but like is this not like clearly designed if it's designed Probably to get yeah. reactions yeah. from people? Yeah. Like I mean, where how mm -hmm. clearly are That's we allowed I to say it? it? Because they're like, look, we need to get 60 million to a billion reactions, and we want to make and sure that also, this demographic hears this right before this election cycle. And reactions you know I mean? will be people saying this is fake too. They, I think they do it on for that too. Like, well, that's an, it's an impression fake. still. We'll get people but to be like, hey, this, this is, is fake. Like, this is fake. This is fake. Because mm. you'll see it on every one of those posts. Someone will be calling it out as fake or believing it. No matter but what. I think, well, that, I think the voters think it's real. <laughs> yeah, the, the airplane, <laughs> the, the, the airplane example. Hold, hold on, hold on. The airplane example that you just said. They also did the same one with like the, the mom walking in and ripping the LGB flag yep. down yep. and going, and my tax dollars pay for it. And then, but at the end of these videos, they go, now that was not real. But if it was real, what would you think on about TikTok, it? Right. But, and it's just like, they don't do that on Twitter. Twitter. Well, they cut the full, that part out. they cut that part out, <laughs> yeah. right? To make people yeah. think. But say it's a scare. Even, it's but a, even it's a big still, old it's, it's fucking lame. Yeah. And, it, you know, and it's they're making fake. shit up. Yeah, it's it's so clearly Watching fake. I, see I see people fall that. for stuff all the time. I've probably fallen for stuff myself. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm not. I'm not I saying that. Believe anything anymore. Right, but it's like wag the dog, and yeah. we're in this new generation version of it, and it's really yep. gnarly because it's not just like, huh? I wonder if that's happening. It's clearly it is happening. On and it's compiled with. There's also a little bit of it, at least 10 or 20 percent of this, which is organic. There are people like, yeah. I wonder if I can get famous by talking about trending issues, which are and look what they are. They're like conservative or like liberal political socioeconomic. These that gets right into the core of what would be, you know, the government plan to interact with people. But yeah. people will bid for the opportunity to make that kind of, you know, 200 bucks off Twitter. Yeah. Well, you remember, I don't know if you guys remember this, but in 2021, maybe it was 2020, I think 2021, the army put out a flyer or this commercial basically trying to get people to re be recruited. And they were talking about how the the new wars are not fought in the trenches. They're not fought out on, in the fields. They're fought online. It's a, it like psyops is the new war. So come and join like the new psyop battle, and I was just like, "Holy shit, this is." Are a you real prestiged in Call of Duty? Come on down. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Hell Divers, Hell Divers Two is an ideological swaying movement. Exactly. Dude, yeah. so, well, we're going to talk about Hell Divers Two in a sec. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, every man, opportunity yeah. to talk about Hell Divers Two. Let's go. Not a well, fan. It, I'm fucking. But love. but but that psyop, it's like people know it, you know, and <laughs> you you can see how Not here, flawed. Quick, you can see how quickly. The views and the 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 sway of what makes people upset on the internet, how it shifts very quickly from day yeah. to day. The, yeah. the the internet will be upset about something completely different, or be completely obsessed with something so stupid for days on end, and it's like it completely irrelevant. And it, it's it's wild to me. And I don't know, like this whole thing with this freaking girl has been going on for a few days, and it's like why are people focused on that? Like there's so much bigger shit that's happening. Like the state of the union, right? I, I have it in the title. I don't really want to talk about it. All I right. See it. Um, I didn't watch the whole thing. I've watched clips and I've seen Biden was clearly on some drugs. I, He's I struggling. He's struggling. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I heard. But I, I mean, that's one, like the joke, right? Thing. But dude, for real, I mean, holy shit. But, but then, what I find really annoying is that he comes out and he goes, you know, Trump, 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 blah, 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 blah. This this is after the State of the Union talking. To, he he apologized for calling um, one of the like the illegal immigrant that murdered an American citizen, um, Lincoln. And uh, he called her Lincoln and then apologized the next that. day for calling the dude illegal. Oh, sorry. He's undocumented. It's like he fucking murdered an American. You fucking asshole. Oh my god. It's like, dude, what Treatment, the fuck? And people, are, and people are like, 
there people are online like oh man this like this southern girl i'm totally gay like that's what they're saying they're like you know and so, i don't know who made <laughs> someone made the joke here I but like that. i'm gay. yeah <laughs> i i know but if you're attracted to be. a tomboy you, you must you're you're gay you know and it's like i've seen so many people well i guess i'm gay then <laughs> i'm like i'm like how many fucking people are gonna make this stupid joke it's not funny it wasn't funny the first person who claimed they thought of it right it's just like oh my god actually, I think, you, actually you know what like it's our time it's our time we're taking the rainbow gay people aren't happy but taking it, it back it used to be a thing like, oh, that guy's a little gay. You know, he's a little happy. It must be because he's got a <laughs> wife and kids. Backwards now. Kids, guys with wives and kids are happy. We're the Flintstones. We're having a gay old time. We should get. Ooh. I think we should be gay with women. Yep. I think right. it's time. I'm I think it's Mo. freaking I'm time. I'm going to get gay with gals. Gay with gals. Oh, you almost said so gay. You almost said yeah. guys. I heard almost guys. Said guys. <laughs> you, I heard yeah. Guys. Uh, careful. Was, uh, careful there. The fine line. There. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> we're transitioning. Yeah. You get a couple <laughs> drinks in him, you know. Transitioning. It'd be gay with anybody. That back as well. <laughs> 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 oh, Dave my. This Thursday. Oh, um, I man. just want to I just want to say real quick, we have a thousand people watching across the three different platforms that I'm currently on, Look at that. Uh, which is which is really cool. So thank you guys very much in the description below. You can find the links to these lovely gentlemen. I also have Darth Call and Georgia Giant Slayer who joins. I don't know where they are, but it's OK. Um, we all kind of filter in except me. Of course, I'm here. I'm uh, here but, every uh, time. Bro. I'm yeah, here most except once, except once. Most of the time. All right. Obviously, then you can't say every time. So shut well, up. You haven't been here every time either. One time I was ready and you're like, <laughs> all right. So everyone just please follow these <laughs> lovely <laughs> guys. They're freaking awesome. Uh, and thank you guys for and please share. Smash like wherever you are. I don't think there's actually like a like button on on X, but we are on heart, X right, right now. It's like a heart. Can, there's a heart, heart, heart on like, X. Yeah. Is you there can, heart? Can you yeah, heart can, on X? Let me go. You check. can adore this. X. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see it. it. You can heart it. Adore it. Let check right now. Oh, you can heart like the, the, the post, post, but but not when you're actually in and watching it with like the live chat. So, anyway, it's cool, and I appreciate you all for hanging out and 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 watching. I'm gonna read some of these super chats because I saw some people uh, chiming in to the conversation. Like Slosher for ten Canadian uh, says, first, the Lebanese chick is wearing a mortgage payment worth of makeup. Second, there's a rumor that her and Catfish Girl both work for Black Rifle Coffee. And this did this to rage bait and attract eyeballs. Wait, both of them? I mean, I would have. I don't see any ads for any of that on either of their page. Maybe so, in the future, that's how they get you. They drag ooh. you in, and then they say, "Really? Well, yeah, but what if like it's Black Rifle? They probably get some sales like that." Is Black Rifle Coffee associated with Soros? Isn't that like a thing? I, I, feel I like don't know, but I don't like. Those. I I don't like Black Rifle Coffee because. They're yeah, they they came out strongly not supporting Kyle Rittenhouse yeah. in like the weirdest fucking way. Using like, a literal yeah. black rifle to yep. defend himself. Yep. Right. Fuck legal I mean, black rifle in coffee. America. They hated yeah. 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 They, they yeah. Were, they were Fuck like, you, black rifle coffee. Yeah, they went in no. for a little bit there. Fuck yeah. that sh fuck that company. Granted, I also had a coffee company at the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but oh, still, correct. I mean still hate him. I don't anymore, and I still they can it's still suck fucked them. Tessa Mystic, celebrating 14 months as a member, says day 266. Yes. Moving on up, dude. Let's go. Moving on up. See you, Shags, in it. the chat. What's up? Shags. What up, Shags? That's like a Mayan year. Good job. Brad Young, becoming a member over on YouTube. Thank you very much. Minor Zircon says, what's pineapple in patos? That one, actually, he was talking to you, Garrett. I know. Uh, that was, I know he that was, was directed I know he was directly at you. That'd be racist. Uh, talking to me. RMR says, "Insert Cerveza Cristal ad." Did I get a beer ad on YouTube? You you guys can That's watch awesome. on Rumble That's and not cool. get any ads. No, you so get ads on Rumble. You get ads if you, on Rumble. Oh, do you get yeah, ads like, on Rumble now? They like have you seen the memes though? Now. Maybe the That's why Cerveza people are watching memes? over on X. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, X one, yeah. No, Rumble is there memes because of the ads? Yeah, so it, I forgot where it was, uh, but when they had, when they play like movies on the television in whatever this Latin country was, they would uh -huh. 
force in ads as if the characters oh, were drinking Star a beer. Wars. Yeah, there was Wasn't a Star it? Wars one where like Wait, the Emperor Palpatine was like, your friends will die when they arrive, and he turns and it's like, survey says, you know, like, it looks <laughs> like he picked it up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I want to watch so that one. <laughs> That'd be entertaining, man. Dude, that's the way that would to do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so Flod's never seen Star Wars. We have to make him watch that version. That version. <laughs> that <laughs> okay. his friend. So he'll yeah, never know what's real more. or not anymore. I enjoyed it even more. He'll be like, like, oh yeah, I've seen Star Wars. I love that scene with the beer. Part. You know, yeah, and the favorite favorite part. Palpatine part. Cerveza, right? He started, just, you know, the Dark Side Brewery, right? Just play just play Knights of the Old Republic. That's all. Like the only Star Wars merchandise I want you to Are you still game. playing that? Yeah, I'm still I have it on my Switch. Did you did you find it, Garrett? I found it. Can we can we play it a little? Or is it yeah. we could play a little, right? Yeah, All it's right. in Spanish too, so it's not even the original track. <laughs> so serious? <laughs> yeah. Smart and genius, bro. Christoph. <laughs> 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 little genius, bro. Christoph. <laughs> <laughs> that is genius. There's like several other ones. Too. Oh my goodness. Nada más te enseñaré hoy. Te preguntas despeja tu mente. Pregunta. Question. Where's it come up? I know what I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, perfect. Cut, though. <laughs> <laughs> <The high quality. laughs> and so I don't like good. I, I love it, but I don't like how they're caressing the beer like aggressively. I like that even more. I like, I like even it more. brings me back. It's like the 80s. That's so like fucking good. 80s. Like, I hope they Bro, do it in Hoth cool. when he's upside down and he's trying to get the, the lightsaber. Yeah. And, he, <laughs> and he turns over and then it pulls <laughs> the beer like, out of the ice. The, the camera pans over and there's a beer the also. And he's like, Christa! So do they play it during the show? Or is yeah, it just on like TV. Yeah, on TV, no, it would just no organically cuts. happen. That is genius. I it's know. genius. That's, that's so good. That's legit. I want genius. more of that energy. Like people need to do that. Do. All right, YouTube idea or you know whatever content creator idea. Make that for any movie. Yeah. Pick a movie. Yeah. Pick a scene. Legit. Add your own version. You know what Pogo does, where he kind of puts himself. He makes yeah. like a. He picks a song and then he sings the song as Who? part of the set. Pogo. Pogo. He's a, a YouTuber. He's been he's been making music on. Uh, so what he does, he's fantastic. He's got so many bangers. He takes like, uh, there's a famous one. People, uh, Next Generation, Star Trek, right? And oh, he he so takes he takes a bunch of different like clips and he basically mixes it in like a DJ would into its his own song and using words like he's got the Captain Picard singing this song from one of the like one of the episodes and he like turns it into this freaking epic mix. I don't know. It's badass, but then it, he, sh he shoots himself and makes a music video of him being captain Picard. In, Wait, it's so, but he's not dude, saying the he, words, but he mixes it into a song yeah. and then performs it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's all, it's so That's clever. cool. Dude. That's a lot of work. Yeah. It oh, used dude. to be the pre and post I music for Crowder. And I, Damn. I heard every single oh, really? Pogo song. A million they're, times, like so they're many so times. good. But There's so good. many they're good great. ones. No, I don't like all of them. No, not that he did one. Stranger uh, Things. Uh, He's done. It was like the pre-show. I mean, like, name, shows about name to start music. Yep. He doesn't do them anymore. He hasn't, or at least he hasn't. Yeah, posted what in a happened while. to him, man? He, Life. I mean, he's probably living good off of his YouTube money because, dude, his videos get millions of views. So good for him. Damn, you can't uh, even but say check his original YouTube name. You can't say it. You can't say it on YouTube. I don't want to get you dinged. Really? It's something to Tron. Because it ragged uh, Tron. British but cigarette it Tron. With, uh, oh, don't, I don't knew that's where it was going to go. I knew that's where it was going to oh, go. Oh, is that cigarette Tron? Yeah. Was his original that. YouTube. Oh, name. okay. <laughs> he lives in Australia and he's super approachable. You can actually get him to do like events. If you want to pay for his like flight, he'll fly 
to wherever you want him to be. I guess freaking awesome. I wow. think he's incredibly talented, and you should definitely check him out. Drop it in. Uh, chat, and I yeah. forgot why I even brought hi him up. What What were you we talking about? You're talking about the, that? the commercials. Yeah. So oh yeah. yeah. Krista. So I want to see like Pogo meets the Mexican commercial mixing, because like I oh. feel like that's people would love Something that. There. I mean, even those short clips, the ones we just saw, were genius. You just take whatever, and you probably start getting advertisers being yeah. down but you know you gotta like mimic it. it it was pretty cool pretty good anyway check out pogo he's fantastic uh lord of the re for ten dollars thank you lord of the re says what the fuck is up tennies free fallen is at almost 1.5k views here on rumble mm. but if you're not into it i have my own music as well with some new stuff on the way long walks music it's adequate nice nice the space uh was at the end i just was reading the crystal <laughs> it's in your head isn't it well, they're well, good pepe the, jingle. the jingle pepe pain says uh, so i follow hannah and the other conservative women um the woman she first she has a man second a woman that can do the same tasks as you is a win but you get hurt sometimes someone's got to step if you get hurt someone's got to step up but also knows how to be a woman right yeah. i mean exactly uh, V6Nan says, I think you should have referred to that photo as a fake woman, as a fembot from Austin Powers. I could see that. That's a good way of putting it. Fembot. Guns in the titties. I like that. I'm going to use that. Guns in the titties. Watch out. Elizabeth Pepe Payne says, Hannah is in the donut operator slash Alex Zedra community. Good follows. True. Yeah. Uh, they are all uh, Donut based. was going ham on all of these people yesterday. Oh, I bet. Hilarious. I bet. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. Gotta got to love the engagement farmers. Um, yes, Donut is guilty of it a little bit. Let's be real. Uh, Everybody like that's donut. on Twitter I like donut. is guilty of it at some extent. I don't, I mean, see, this don't, is what I was talking about. Don't say you don't do it. Don't say no, you no, don't. no, what no. This what, what hold, on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, this is what I was talking about last week. There's there's a difference between, like, grifting because yeah. it's you're, you know you're getting engagement just to, so you're just going to do it just to do it and actually, like, pushing stuff that you believe in yourself. Right. And it's like, I think that there's a good middle ground if you are trying to make money doing this as a job. So, you know, that middle ground is good. But if you're just grifting to grift, like, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's the shit that I can't stand. Yeah. So that's why Flaw's not finding himself on Twitter much anymore because yeah. he can't stand that shit. I can't. It's like, it's fake. It's fake. And, you know, well, and it's like, I can't stand fake shit, dude. Yeah. It's yep. so obvious when someone's being fake where you're like, I don't, I don't, I don't need that shit. Man. The amount of times I've tweeted out, like I've typed out a tweet that goes like, this is fucking fake and stupid. And I hate everybody that's interacting. Wait a Same. Second. I do totally it all the time. I fucking walk time. away. <laughs> like, I'm totally, like, now I don't even go on Twitter because yeah. of that. Cause I'm like, I could, but why the fuck would I do it? And then I'm having right. to see my reply is like, fuck you. Fuck you. I agree. I agree. Fuck you. Fuck you. And it's like, for what? Well, just like why you're interacting. I feel like I maybe this? it's your because you're interacting with that though. Because like I don't have that in my feed. Like I, I interact with everything: wrestling, music, fucking politics, fucking yeah. movies, all this shit. It all leads to the same shit. All of it. Yeah, but I like I anger. All those many they just people tried to cancel Roman Reigns yesterday because he called Seth Rollins a fucking crossdresser. Like it's in everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> really? Yeah, wrestler. He's a heel. He's a bad guy in WWE, and they're like, "Yeah, this is fucking." Why would he ever? He went that? too far. It's heel. like it's like you're what supposed to hate him. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, people are stupid, Twitter, man. Though. It's ridiculous. Well, I mean, it's it's, yeah, it's way everywhere. past Twitter. Yeah, it's, it's like everywhere. the president saying, "I'm sorry for calling this illegal alien, yeah. Ill illegal immigrant, illegal," even though he just killed somebody. Yeah, and he Newcomer. said the per the American that he killed. He didn't even give a shit about. It's like when he checked his watch when the um the, the serviceman came back after being killed in Afghanistan with his botched withdrawal. Yeah. It's like, yeah. dude, fuck Joe Biden. Sorry. We talked about ice cream during after the shooting. Fuck, can't stand that woman or that man. Whatever. Um, yes. Basically, woman. Rake and Knight, what's up? For ten says, what's up, base staff? Uh, though you guys started early, but remember it was daylight savings. Uh, we didn't start early. We started right on time. An hour sure, early for me. Wait, you started know, nicer. I, it's weird, dude. It's in like two weeks. Oh, yours hasn't hit yet. Yeah, it's so odd. I don't get it. Oh, like, it's like can a we good just, thing, though, right? Because you're not. Well, it's great late. for me. Yeah, it's 1130. Yeah. Well, now it's it's like 1215, but it's fantastic because normally 
I thought last week, I thought I heard about daylight savings and I'm like, fuck, I'm going to have to be up late. And then Forbidden Frontier last night, I'm sitting around. I'm just kind of like twiddling my thumbs. I'm like, oh, man, I got another hour and a half <laughs> to go before the show starts. And I, I see Garrett tagged me and I'm like, wait, what is going on? And I check and he was like, sent me the link. And I'm like, oh, shit, what? <laughs> and then I checked and they had gone an hour early. So I'm dude. Yeah, I, that was our bad. We didn't realize until we were like in the, the room waiting. I mean, and we were like. Oh wait, crap! Daylight savings times didn't change for you. Yeah, okay. but I don't blame you guys because as soon as I heard, I popped the stream up and I was listening. Dude, Mike Barra was interesting as shit. Yeah, he was I was great. so sad that I didn't. I I want to go watch the beginning because I you were talking about he was talking. I dude, I didn't even get to ask him because he was he mentioned stuff that was on the moon that that's why they took out JFK. Right? Like you guys were talking yeah, about that. We were talking conspiracy. about all the JFK stuff. It was great. And I'm like. Well, what the hell did they find? What was what was on the moon that was so crazy that they had to take out JFK because he didn't want Russia to be involved so that Russia could Dude, I want to know why you're smug. Why are you so why are you so smiling? Know, it's just good. What do, what do good you know? Oh, I don't I'm know talking anything. about Andreas. Andreas, what do you know? I was just why thinking you... about Irish Catholics and like the moon. There's like but you never <laughs> Whoa. Irish Catholics. <laughs> Wait, Whoa. what? <laughs> Wait, yeah, they said that Neil Armstrong exactly like Irish made Catholic. it a Masonic temple when he got there. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Deal, is that deal between the Vatican and the Protestant like Freemasons over space is kind of interesting, right? Because like the Vatican have their own, they have their own space uh, program essentially. What? Like, they have, they're the private Vatican? corporations. Really? Yeah, and like the, the yeah, like so for the first per, uh, group to recognize, I guess like the nuclear space agency recognized the Vatican space program also Weird. in the seventies. So like, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to it, but like they have a private, they have their own private thing. I could never, they ever get into space? It's not public. <laughs> they <crazy>. did. <laughs> you know, they got a moon base. That's crazy. <laughs> You know no, the Vatican's got have, a moon base. If if Vatican had a moon base, it would be awesome. It'd be like a giant cathedral and spiky towers and shit. And... I think the Mormons had a moon base. Mm. Like that. Like the Vatican probably be underground, like in one of the. In oh, one of, you, know, see, yeah. you go into the holes because there's like ellipses. Is shadow. this what they said that they would bless an alien, the Pope? Well, that's guy. Uh, Did he? Father guy, Father guy Consumagno, uh said that. I yeah, know it wasn't the like Pope that. who said it, but the Pope has got a new AI program, right? And like they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So the idea that they're Dude, working, but I don't know. I don't the like thing that. about Kennedy, the thing about Kennedy though, is I thought it had to do with the Bay of Pigs. I've always been under the impression that because he allowed for Cuba to go down, like the families involved with Cuba, like the Castros, the Bush family. No, he talked about. He actually there. addressed that that rumor based on the Kennedy assassination that the whole Cuba thing. I wasn't actually in the conversation yet, but I guess I was setting stuff up. So it was kind of like I was listening, yeah. but he said something along the lines of like the whole Cuba thing wasn't big enough of a reason for them to like need to take him out. Cause it was like a rushed job. Yeah, right. Yeah. They, and then the way that they had Lee Harvey Oswald kill the, the police officer and then, or no. Yeah. It was, it was the police officer. So somebody had said they saw, the Dallas police officer and Lee Harvey Oswald in a bar owned a by a week before the week what? before owned by yeah. um what's his name the guy that shot Lee Harvey Oswald I don't remember I don't uh, remember his name Oswald right. Cobblepot so, no <laughs> yeah, let's call just go with that um <laughs> sure <laughs> Jack, Ruby, Jack, Jack Ruby Jack, Jack Ruby Jack Ruby Jack Ruby owned the bar that the two were seen in a week before right Lee Harvey shot the guy on the grassy you knoll, which was the police officer, supposedly, right? Shot. And then Lee Harvey Oswald shot, shot the police people? officer. That's why Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested, was because he shot a police officer, which was that police officer. Didn't he and shoot then later? Well, yeah. That was I just, and you know what's, what's crazy, too? Okay. I was I went online today, and I the first thing that popped up was this article Allegedly, about how right? yeah. JFK had three different bullets from three different directions. And I'm like, all right, well, then... That whole thing with it was just Lee Harvey Oswald from from the second why was he the right. second floor, third floor or something. So like, okay, well that's just one. So, so where the other two? He so gets shot, the other right? two come and then out. he gets shot again, back to the left, and then he gets shot again. So three bullets. Right. That's three different directions because they're moving forward. About? That's what what? what? 
That's what Seinfeld was talking about when he's talking yeah. about the magic loogie. Yeah, yeah. Back into yeah. the left. It was back from the movie JFK. Left. You didn't know yeah, that. Back oh, into no. the left. I didn't know what he was. <laughs> he takes that ruler. He's yeah. back Plus into the left. Let's see. But I was uh, it was like a whole thing. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah. It's referencing so, the movie JFK when he does this whole elaborate like explanation of where the magic bullet went. That's yeah. one the magic idea. loogie. <laughs> that's the one magic loogie. The idea that in 1962, then that there would have been rushing to kill JFK, that like essentially says that we there was already moon base before anyone's building moon bases. That's so the but that's the point. Like we saw yeah. that there was one there, and we're trying to get to it. And how old was it? Wait, wait, wait. And how old was it? As old what if it's tw- fourteen thousand years old? Right. Yes. What if it's right. the Atlanteans? You know, uh, it well, just isn't isn't the idea crazy. that the isn't the idea that the moon? Sorry, it's been a minute since I saw like David. It's made I, of cheese, it, correct? No, it's it's a hollow Cheddar moon. It's I heard the moon it dinged the like moon, a bell. Yeah, because it's hollow. Exactly, that's it. right. Yeah, because it's hollow, and the idea it's hollow is because Theta is supposed to have cra- Theta is the proto planet that crashed into the proto Earth, right? You know the Theta, mm-hmm. and then created, yeah. and then slowed us down to twenty four hours. So you've got this inverse thing, which is the moon, which is ringing like a bell, but that there's supposed to be like a constellation of like 12 or 13 alien species that are colonizing the earth from the moon, right? Like there's like a treaty thing and then they live on the moon. What about they're... what about the dude that hacked into the government and found all the things about the uh, aliens that are on earth as like commanders and humans on moon and things like that? Well, supposedly one of the, the guys who was the government for that. Is that like about Julian Assange? I don't know about that. that. No, no, no. Totally, no, not Assange. No, it's a different guy. He did like twenty. Garrett, you, what? Do we know well, what is this? I feel like we should know this. Finding I alien information. I I'll find it. Chat, I'll help us out. You gonna help us out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find it. You know that's that's Donald officers. Trump's that's uncle. Like Donald Trump's uncle is a nuclear scientist. John Trump. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. And got high. And I didn't know this because he's the one that got the right. I mentioned. Hold on, hold on. I, I I like uh, a couple months ago, I, I mentioned that he got Tesla's stuff and someone actually sent me like an image on Twitter, which I don't know who you were. I don't remember anyway. And I apologize, but it was awesome. You tagged me and it was like he was actually hired by MIT and the department of something to actually go over Tesla's stuff. So he actually acquired it by working on this stuff for Right, some agency, the FBI, because yeah. the FBI seized Tesla's papers to the Alien Acquisition Act, which is unconstitutional because he was a citizen. Is this the photo? I, yeah, <laughs> that, that looks like, like John. Dick. I think that's John Trump. Yeah, that looks like a dick. Hey man, that's or, pareidolia. That's what you're seeing. I don't know what that means. It means you see dicks everywhere. Yep. All right, I'm out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What about <laughs> sailboats? He's I, meant. I had a feeling about <laughs> and flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just gave me that one. I appreciate it. Pareidolia is where Castle. you see faces in objects that aren't faces. So, like, yeah, that's human pareidolia. Pareidolia. humanistic Fine. things, right? Yeah, that's, like that's phallidolia is what you just said. <laughs> hey, <Hi. laughs> but uh, Juan Castle says that Kennedy rabbit hole never ends. UFOs Dude, are real. It doesn't end. I know. It's crazy. And there's probably Kenny Curvecock uh, nice. says, "What up, pimps?" Quarter Black, Resident Eames, Evil Stream later. Have yes. you beaten that game yet? Are you still Not on yet. one? I'm still on one. I'm part five. Are you having fun? Nice. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. Okay. The camera sucks. Yeah, like, Dark don't get me wrong. Was gonna but be terrible after incredible. a while, I kind of got used I to it. I hate it. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't do it. Pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, DGI for five says, let's try again. Adam, please hit me up on X uh, at Daniel J. Irving so I can get that multi-stream helper software and free forever discount code to you also garrett your rumble link on linktree is bad dji hey you super chat or rumble ranted me last week before my stream stopped working for some reason um so thank you uh last week you you i I didn't i don't know if you heard me say thank you after i started the stream and said i think someone rumble ran to me but it was you because you were trying to give me this stream helper software um which is fantastic uh okay Daniel Irving, right, right, right. Just uh, do me a favor and just tag me, uh, and I'll I'll look for it. Let's see. Kofi Fitch for five says Hannah is a sharp customer. I would not be shocked to find out later the beef was manufactured to relaunch the X Twitter account. Boom! I said it. That makes sense. She's got hey, thirty thousand followers right now. Smart. You know? <clears throat> yeah, it would be. 
Pepe Payne says, watch the movie Above Majestic. Kind of goes into all of that and more. You dig it. Above Majestic. Anyone know it? Never heard of it. I, I, wonder, I wonder what... Majestic you, 12 what is what we were about. talking about. The document Majestic yeah. 12 was like the, the above Roswell. CIA yeah. uh, organization. Oh, okay. It's like running all this stuff. Yeah. Okay, Which okay. every one of those guys invented something, including like Vannevar Bush did like Memex. Yeah. But now I'm stuck right on. on that whole idea of the like the making the working woman beautiful, right? Because if that was all a ploy to get us to think this other person's more famous, and it's like, what's beautiful about femininity? The working woman, the working spirit. Like I don't know. It seems is that is that socialist everything's propaganda? propaganda. Yeah, yeah, for the like the neoconservative Marxists, I love it. They're trying to normalize manly women because. To them, women have penises now. The mo is worth a millions and millions and millions of dollars. It's the wrong like bull. Yes. I'm sorry. What did you say? The wrong mo. Bull. Mo. Then mo is worth millions of dollars if if they're trying to normalize manly women because she's a man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> is, she, is she there? Is she there? She's please she's write screaming. a soul like song. She's, she's, she's screaming like, right now. Yeah, she's screaming. She's playing D Detroit, Which, I think, right now, or Among oh, Us, God, one or the other. That game. Oh, I'm gonna have to play it God. again. I loved it. I almost caused a robot holocaust. Um, oh, Detroit, my, almost human. Yeah. yeah, I went crazy. I was, I became my, BLM of robots and shit. It was wild. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I went crazy with that shit. I like it. All right. My, my favorite, like, of the MJ12 Roswell people is George the Mistral. Cause, like, you know, they all have patents. Cause they're like, they all walked away saying they didn't discover anything and then they invented stuff like Memex and like computers and like the, the semiconductor. But George the Mistral invented Velcro, which is like, the mo if you think about how crazy it is, it's like hooks and loops in space. And like it was used to like walk on the sides of walls and stuff. It's made with like carbon diamonds and stuff. And like, where did you come up with that? And it came two months after Roswell, right. he patents it. It's like, uh, the bur <laughs> the burrs on sheep. You know what I mean? Because like when the birds get stuck, which is also where that is that song, Forget Me Not. That actually makes sense. Motherfucker, we though. had sheep for fucking millions of years. Yeah, <laughs> Nobody made exactly. Velcro. <laughs> but so then. <laughs> There's All that of a sudden song. Roswell happens. He's like, hmm. <laughs> Hooks. There's a, there's, a, there's a song about the burrs and sheep. It's called Forget Me Nots. To help them to remember these are Forget Me Nots, which they made into the I men know. in they made into the Men in Black song. Mm -hmm. Men in Black. Men in Black. Help me to remember. Oh shit, dude. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, it's a conspiracy. Dude. <laughs> hey. Bro, dude, convince that me. might be my favorite com conspiracy right that now. That was a great. You convinced yeah. me. I I like it. I like it. What do I'm they? Glad know? we could all get together on that one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I gotta ask though. Could it be true? It could totally I think it be is. true. I think it's it totally. Totally it could be true. I'm all. I think so. You know what, Andreas? I'm with you on this one though. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all. You in. got me, dog. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> v6 neon says look up iron sky about world war ii german escape to the moon they Lovely have sarah movie. palin character as potus oh great nice have you not uh, seen iron sky or iron sky no 2? i won't say another word just please i promise you watch them when did it come out is it new or old 2016 i think is when oh, okay newer kickstarter movie from finland and it's uh it's the it's incredible it's absolutely incredible and tom green's in yeah. the sequel K B KB just says Iron Sky is great, followed by the best. Wow. Okay. Oh. All right. So high regards from the chat. Bolt 95 Survivor says, why would JFK be paling around with Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander, in 1945 looking at secret German tech, especially we when JFK about... is some bottom-ranking officer in the Navy in the Pacific? Right. Yeah, I mean, I know, that's weird, man. dude. It's weird. Why? That's, why is yeah. JFK and Eisenhower? Well, it's it's the, weird, in, man. In the other, uh, and Forstall, Forst, General Forstall, Eisenhower, and JFK all in Hitler's office, talking about uh, what? What are they talking about? Plus, <laughs> like, why JFK, is JFK there? JFK, Alien JFK, shit, dude. JFK was like a, was like soaked in close. So like, dang, he's got pretty nice little threads. <laughs> yeah, he was like they, soaked they were, in they were PCP. just they were like, man, he's got some really good no style. PCP so, here. <laughs> the PC, the, the JFK, the notch PC. If you look, if you look like you think about, if you think about like, uh, like Germany, <laughs> like the Hit, Hitler's doctor, right. like JFK had the same kind of thing. He was on all kinds of weird drugs to keep his body going because he'd been through so much. He had all this metal in him and yeah. stuff. He's but like PCPs, PCPs, what they use in like the altered states thing, like John C. Lilly and everything to talk to Echo and SSI, right? Like they're like spiritual thing. So if we're talking about the mm. real and the aliens being connected on that like level, you know, he'd be tapped in 
This rapper cut off his dick on PCP. Yeah, you gotta be careful. What? Damn, yeah, bro. Christbearer. He was in like he was part of Wu Tang or part of like an offshoot of Wu Tang. He cut, cut off his, his own dick and jumped yeah, out he of the window. Do that yeah. Did he kill himself? Nope. He's alive. He's oh, oh, man. Sorry. Did they yeah. reattach? Uh, I don't think he did. I I, I he's like I want to I want to like, learn as as from my the ground. <laughs> oh man, I regret my decision. <laughs> Get it quick. Put it on ice. <laughs> it can be reattached. <laughs> wow. yeah, I, I had a nice PCP story. Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Duke Duke Chronic says he's now in the No Wang Clan. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. Well, I added, I added a little bit, but he said No Wang, and I'm like, no Wang. nice No Wang Clan. <laughs> <It's> genius. <laughs> That's so good. Also, True. really sad. Oh, wow, Holy he's alive. Shit. Drugs are bad for you, man. Yeah. 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 I don't. Uh, I don't do yeah, anymore, it's weird man. how like the great. CIA decided to bring PCP to like all the ghetto. You know what I mean? Because like it's funny, people are like, "Oh, the ghetto is addicted to PCP." It's like, yeah, mm. like do you think Where'd they black? Get do you think inner city black kids in community colleges are like becoming chemistry majors and learning how to make aerocyclohexamines? Or what do you think is going on shit? with those mm-hmm. soaked cigarettes? Same thing with mm. acid and hippies. You think dirty, unclean hippies are just making acid? Mm-hmm. No, it was the CIA it's dropping the it. To you while you're listening to shitty music. Augustus Osley the bear, right? His great grandfather was the governor of Alabama, the bear who made all the LSD. Yeah. Makes uh-huh. sense. There it is. There it is. All right, let's talk about Hell Divers 2. So, this no, game this fucking game. Th- all right, you, just you know hate what? It. You just want no, to No, no. Look. The only good bugs I are have... dead bug. That's right. Look, look. I haven't played it. All right. I I full You'd probably like it. I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Garrett, you know me. Uh, you and I play games a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd mm-hmm. like it. Do you agree? Uh, I'm not sure. It's it's hard to hard to tell. You like uh, Destiny, right? You're a Destiny player back I in the day. I was. I was. It's got a little Destiny bit of that was. kind it feels of like, like Destiny. You're right. You got a four squad. You've got a, a few missions when you drop in, and then you you leave that mission. Uh, yeah. Is it like that brutal. Warhammer game we played, Hell Tide? Uh, Hell uh, uh, Dark Tide is more linear. Dark Tide. It's a lot okay. more linear than this is. That was very much like we're just running down a hallway to another hallway to another hallway. This is like a yeah. whole map that you have to go yeah. do certain things. It's, it's really the 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 gameplay loop of get almost killed, your entire squad's almost died, we all died, now we're coming back, now we're throwing shit, and we're, it's exploding, yeah. and now you're doing a dive off of a cliff to get out of the way of a, a giant spewing monster. It's just like that and kind of stuff. bugs and robots, and the levels are really shit. beautiful. Like, Did, the levels are really me, nice. Did I'll anyone take you here... on a dive? Let's go. Okay. Did anyone here ever play fun, the game Earth Defense Force? I've heard of it. Sounds I've familiar. Heard of it. Sure look at it this game, this goes way back. I think I played like the second one, maybe even the first one on Xbox 360 10 years ago. No, 15 years ago or something like that. And this game was so much fun. It was you were going out in what I feel is very similar to what Helldivers looks like, but on Earth. Yeah. And these that. alien There's giant right massive a- ants are c- come at came are coming bees. at you and like it's bees, very much these like giant that, yeah. bugs and you have to kill them. Oh, people yeah. are saying it's similar to EDF. Okay, because yeah, that's oh right, yo, a lot of people EDF. Let's go. Yeah, if you like EDF, it, you, you might, EDF. You might like this, yeah, yeah. I had such a blast with that because the when I played it, it was couch co op. Right, me and my buddies can sit on the Xbox and play split screen. I miss those days, you know, of just like right. we're shooting bugs together and it was a lot of fun. So like I see this and it kind of has that kind of energy. So I might really enjoy it. It looks like Starship like dude, Starship Troopers got Best. old really quick. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, that the game. game the, yeah. the game. The game. That's what it oh, did. Oh, I got, thought you meant it, like it, the, it got old. The I think the Starship is funner. Like I wake up every day. You think morning Starship Troopers is more fun? I think the hundred is more fun than that. Hundred troops. Hmm. I like yeah. both of them. I I, I do like both. Like you build and stuff like, in Starship Troopers, you build the base like that. That mm-hmm. to me is fun. Then you keep them away. Helldivers yeah. is not. I, don't know. I can see how that could be fun too. But I think the thing about Helldivers is it's supposed to be like a a group game. You know, like you play as your friends together. You go as a squad into arenas. Like Garrett, have you played it? Yeah, Andres? yeah. Okay. And I like I like it. I want to play it. I think we should. But I also I found this us. game. I also like found out about Squad. Have you played Squad? I've seen it. I think I squads. Hear, I hear. Squads, I hear good things. Squad, so squads really cool, and but that's more realistic, right? It's like a realistic. It's, it's, realistic. it's World War Two, right? Squad. 
Well, there's all these different ways of doing it, including a Star Wars mod, which is about mm-hmm. as large as the game is itself, but it's freaking amazing. Freaking awesome, it, dude. It looks just like Star Wars, and it's mm. like it's really incredible. And it's just right through the Steam workshop. You just subscribe, and it installs yep. it. So it's easy to do, but it looks so good. It sounds, it's like... It's a, it's a tactical yeah, shooter. Yeah, big yeah. big team tactical shooter. I, was, I got first, first into... It's more like Halo than this. Hell like, Let it, Loose. It's it's like Hell mm. Let Loose, World War Two tactical oh, shooter. You have fifty versus fifty. I think Shags was playing that. Yeah, I haven't me and, tried me and the normal. Playing a whole lot, but I didn't try the normal version. The I only. But I, I want to hold on. I, I want to stay on Hell Divers too, though, because yeah. I, I have an article I want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, because it kind of leads into a different conversation about games. Uh, but I, before we do, I want to. I, I really want to know why, flawed. Why, why don't you like Hell Divers two? What is it about that game that you're you're not into? Uh, it just doesn't feel like there's enough to do. Okay, it like so it's repet- repetitive. Things. Yeah, I'm just and shooting robots. things, running away, shooting things, running away, shooting things, running away, and like, uh, and I, I'm not, I'm more like a multiplayer. I'm like a party games type of guy. Like I was gonna I'm, ask, like, uh, have you played with? Yeah, I with... played with my cousins. I played. That's me right. and my cousins played okay. together, and it was just my cousins love it. Yeah, I'm just yeah. not. It reminds me of Call of Duty Zombies, like the old zombies, and I just am not that. It is a lot of grind, really. Monsters thing. I'm not really into that type of game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why the the new zombies is is a little different. It yeah, gets the same they get from I like mean, Shredder, Shredder's from, Revenge. That's, that's like, like War Zone type, you know. It's well, it's yeah, actually like you know, it's, it's like zombies. It's like the new Call of Duty Zombies. Helldivers is like that times ten. Oh wow! Okay. It's just a, there's a lot of shooting. It's a lot of chaos. It's not my type of shit. So it's, here's it's why it's I wanted to bring up Hell Divers Two. All right, here's this article, and it, it's I'll just read it a little bit, and you guys will it'll make sense why I want to talk about this. Hell Divers Two Dev says players kicking teammates who don't have the meta loadout is a hard to solve problem, and asks the community for help or for ideas. And I I was like, that's really interesting because cool, that though. is a, yeah. that is a problem. Dude, every single thing I see from these Hell di- Helldivers devs are freaking awesome. They care about they're, the community. Yeah. They dope. really do. It's fantastic. I, I love seeing it. And and the differences between like the AAA companies like Bungie's and the um, oh, who, whoever, Call of Duty, whoever, who, who makes Call of Duty? Not Treyarch. Activision. Um, uh, Activision. Act- Activision, like EA, these big companies, the they, don't give a, they don't give a companies. shit, man. Yeah. They yeah. don't. They don't care. Now. And like so, these these companies, like they really they care about like their community. Like, look, hey, we know pe- people are getting pissed that they're getting kicked because they don't have the meta loadouts. Um, how do we solve this? And I mean, there's they asked on Twitter, and there's so many good uh, different responses. Like, yeah. I like make it. Well, I don't think not kicking should be a thing like you should be able to you you should be able to keep kicking be able to kick someone but i think that's why it's a difficult problem to solve like if you've kicked like 20 people in an hour you know then you should lose the ability to kick for a certain amount of time right or or like i don't know um the first 10 minutes of a of a match you can't kick or like the first like i don't know so or if you're if you're if you're a player and you get kicked for a stupid reason like that, it takes you into another instance of that same mission where you don't lose any progress. You're just on your right. own, like away from yeah, them. Like there you, you, don't go. Get, you don't, you don't lose any progress as a player because some asshole kicked you because you didn't have the right gun or whatever the heck. Well, I, I, I don't never know how encountered it works. This. I, I've seen this like talked about, but I've never encountered it. Uh, well, when let I me ask you though, randos. if you were to be kicked, do you, I, I want to know from two different angles. If you're in the party and you're in the game and say there's it's four squads, right? Yeah. So one person gets kicked, you're still in. Do you get a replacement person? Like someone else will queue in and so you get four? Or are you just three for the rest of the battle? It it can if somebody see like the way it works is each person that's about to play sees a world map and then they can go to your world map and they can see other teams that are battling and you can choose to jump in with them. So basically, if you have a four squad and you kick somebody out, you're just three unless somebody else decides to jump in with you. Then you're just kind okay, of okay. Who could then also slot. just get kicked? Right. But it's like it's you can't like limit it. Anyone anyone can join though. You can't right. lock it. Yeah. There's no there's no private lobby system, which I think they should change. If you want to run it by yourself, if you want to yeah. run it with just two people, if you want to run it with just three, whatever. 
they should be you should be able to lock it i think that would fix most problems they just if you didn't have the server space like this game was so i mean right. i want to say it was There's perfectly marketed but it was an accident because they didn't think it was going to be this popular and so yeah. that kept the like then because of that there's like oh man there's a well, line outside the place yeah so that really made people like i mean that's why i looked into it like because they're like people can't get into the game they're trying to play it and they can't like well what is this thing you know yeah i bought it like day one just because i thought it looked like a good game and then I, like i was playing it for a couple days and i was like hell yeah this is a great game i'm really having a lot of fun with this we're playing with shags and stuff and then then everything stopped. Like I couldn't get in. I couldn't play for like four or five days that. because it was just over, over packed. Yeah. But mm. the dudes like like you're saying, like the developers, like they're, I guess they're French or something. Cause like, I'll be watching I Swedish. I'm on, I'll, I don't know. They have accents. I'll be watching YouTube videos of people who are trying to review the game. Like apparently the dev devs asked to join the game. And so I'm now playing with them and you're hearing yeah, them really in involved. the game. And they're trying to find out what it's like from different experiences in different places. Like, uh, what's your lag time? What's your ping rate? Like, in these different places, is the game working okay? Like, I mean, that's that's exactly the way it, it should be. I knew that they were that's cool great. devs when all that shit was happening and the players couldn't get in and they were getting mad that we I just bought a game and now I can't get into the game and I want to get a refund. And he was telling, he publicly said, don't buy the game. Because yeah. I don't want you to buy the game and not be able to play it. I was like, that's, okay, this is a real huge. person that, you know, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. insane. You're never going to get that from an Activision that goes, oh, don't purchase our game because yeah. we fucked up. You yeah. know, let's like, sell you half a game. He right. also, it was like even weirder. Right. It was like, they're talking yeah. about like, what about yeah. if you're paying full price for this game at this thing? He's like, yeah, like it'll probably go down in price and be on sale mm -hmm. in a few months. And you're like, are you kidding me? Like, who are you? The game bro? is already <laughs> like 40 bucks. It's yeah. not even, it's not $70 it's not for a Suicide Squad, a a price, which was, you know? Not for spoken price. Not worth I did. Seventy. I, oh look, I did pay seventy for the new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and yeah. I love it. I, yeah. it is that's good. fantastic. That's good. I've gotten to the end of the game. I beat the game, um, and I, I didn't one hundred percent it, but I did have. I have hundred percent each of the different zones you can go. There's still more stuff I can like collect all the materia and then like maybe right. master each one of each one. Uh, but well, I don't I'm think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. But All I'm saying is that the standard right now is for it. a full game, a full game. $40 like, for a good game like this? Yeah. It's yeah. a freak of a deal. And and they're always adding stuff. They're always adding new things. They just added mechs over the weekend, which was badass. And they're still working out right. bugs. There's another really yeah, cool I, thing about I the I heard dead. that slammed the servers, actually, again. Yeah, it, it did. Um, but it also mechs. terrified people because people were shocked. Because if you're watching this and all of a sudden you're like, wait, what? Oh, yeah. like With this new thing like, and then people can be in mechs? Yeah, you can jump oh, in a mech and, and run around. It's and then stuff. this is what's also really cool because the devs are so integrated into like watching what the player base is doing and what they want to see and what they're trying to do. When they added mechs, people figured out that they could take a flamethrower, get a backpack that's a jump pack, jump on top of the mech. So now you have a mech that has rockets, guns, and a flamethrower. And they were running <laughs> stuff like that. And they saw that and they went, oh, would you guys want to have a, a mech, like a way to get onto the mech without having a jump pack just like a button or something or like what what about this i do you want to to change and there were people would tell them like oh yeah we want this or we want that and they're like okay interesting let me talk to the dev team like they're actually involved in trying to make the game good for the players that are playing the game not just what they want but what is good for the games so I, I'm yeah. super excited for everything that I've heard from them. I love that, like, none of this I'm so far... I'm so supportive of that kind of mentality. Because, <laughs> damn, we don't see it. Yeah, no, you gotta appreciate the like, The ideology of the game, either. Like, this is just a quality, awesome game. Like, there's cool people, and, like, the community that's building around yeah. it is really interesting, because they're all, like, you know, citizens. Like, there's, like, a... Yeah, there's, of... like, a meta, like, a fun roleplay yeah. thing to it. Yeah. And they've... Articles and... Kotaku and shit have tried to make it this this they're fascists they're playing the game. I'm about to write a fucking article. Like fuck you. <laughs> you like, I'm about what, to write a fucking article. What I love about it is it kind of it kind of proves it's like, it's like hey, here's this thing that's different than the rest of them. Therefore, that's the fascist thing I'll as opposed to us, which are this monolithic way of being that we. I'll figure out a way to find the racism in it. Yeah, but the, <laughs> but it, it, I think what's really cool about it is Helldivers is kind of a cultural shift. It's not. It's not like by itself, but it's a. It's kind of the a, a sign of this cultural shift that's happening, where things are starting to sway now the other direction. It's not twenty 
2016, 2015, like crazy, right, yeah. you know, whatever it was anymore. It they don't take those me, arguments seriously. They go, uh, whatever the fuck, get out, get out of here. We're playing our game. We just want to kill bugs or bots and have fun. Yeah. So this this was James Lindsay posted this, and uh, he, I don't know what this is. It's the quartering, and he was interviewing. I don't know who this middle guy is, but Grums quartering too. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I know Grums. Not so personally, Grum I just know what you're talking about. And I really like, and I'm glad that he he wrote this all down because. I don't want to watch that, uh, but he says Gamergate 2 is underway. Former game executive and developer at Blizzard, Mark Kern, also known as Grums, quote, the way games are funded, you don't use your own money. Even EA, its games are hugely expensive to make. They're upwards of, you know, 250, mm -hmm. sometimes $600 million. It's for certain live games. Uh, it's incredible how expensive they are. And to do that, you, you uh, the CFO is your best friend. You're counting on your CFO to get you tax breaks, to get you in, to put studios in regions where you're financially favorable, and you will borrow the cheap money, and you will get a cheap, uh, get the cheap money to do it. Even EA does this. A, I, I worked with EA, and we were putting together a deal where they were taking bailout money from the banks in the last financial crisis that we had, and they were applying that cheap money towards games. Nice. The same thing with COVID money. They were applying that cheap nice. money towards games, and what has been the cheapest money while the internet rates are still low you know have a couple years ago mm -hmm. it was esg financing i'm sure it still is the it dei is. esg all that shit so they're right. going to take the this money the easy money because the returns on the investments have been so poor on wall street for esg funds that resource of revenue is drying it up the woke machine cannot continue in a way that it is now for AAA gaming and i think unfortunately it is so entrenched that you're not going to see you're not going to see much of an ability to course correct because the studios are they're just going to shut down but it's just yeah. like you guys were just saying we are course correcting that is a course correct bye bye sorry <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah yeah Legit. this is in fact the course correction because these AAA companies guess what they weren't always AAA companies yep. they started as smaller companies like a company that's making hell divers 2 that is very obviously caring about its community. And guess what? A, when a game company cares about its players, it's going to thrive because uh -huh. gamers what? gamers know that. They respect that and they stay become loyal supporters of yeah. these dev teams and dude, they're going to play Hell Divers 2 is they're going to keep playing it. And if they keep dropping new shit, like you should have seen Flawed's eyes light up a little bit when you, oh, you can ride mechs now? They hmm. won't. Okay. Okay, mechs well, now. That. It, it right. well, I was hype fine. because I was mad that oh. next killing me, so I was hype a little bit. But you know, I I know now you can what? kill them. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to be hyped. No, it's all right. <laughs> it's it's okay to be hyped. No. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. That's a white thing. He's excited. <laughs> hype is white. Yeah. Hype he is wants white. to. He... <laughs> <laughs> there, there's the racism in it. Um, Vol ninety five says racist. <laughs> the more I see current year Hollywood, World War II movies, the more I hate Hollywood. You guys do realize the modern World War II crap is just leftist power fantasies. And the German represent MAGA working class. Never what World War II are you talking about? In uh, your head. <laughs> I never 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 saw that uh connection. I just hmm. wonder what what like what this uh, person's talking about specifically. Which like in the movies, movies yeah. or because I don't really make a lot of World War II movies. Yeah. List. What's on 1917? Yeah, what are you talking about recently? Hold on, let, let me read it again. Maybe like the all more quiet I... on the Western Front because that's World War War One. The yeah. more I see current year Hollywood World War II movies. Okay. The movies? more I hate Hollywood. What is current year Hollywood World War II? What movies World War II movies have come out? This is a deeper Listen. conversation. I'm gonna go uh, to the bathroom before I. Glorious uh, bastards. Is that like? That's even well, you said current that's, year. Is he talking yeah, about specifically right. recently? That's I don't know. I'm just wondering I what know. he's yeah, being specifically. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Vault ninety five. Please uh, elaborate. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't have to. Uh, I'll just look for your your. Uh, Ironically, uh, like most of the axes were leftists in World War Two. So, Ryan Hinder mm, yeah, says John C. Lilly while he was working for the Navy doing experience with ketamine, said aliens came and bloodlessly removed his penis. I'm sure Andreas knows about it. And replaced it. And what, a bigger with penis? what? The smaller one, I think. Slightly. Smaller? Damn, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. messed up. He goes around telling, no, aliens made it smaller, girl. 
This is kind of aliens, okay? You went through some weird stuff, though. It's a scientific penis. Zorbu came, cut my dick off, made it smaller. It's not the size, it's where it came from, and mine came from out of space. When they abduct cows and there's no blood. This is a spatial penis, all right? It's a quantum penis. There wasn't was scared capacitors and stuff. Once he was on a plane and he had like he was doing PCP or ketamine and he talked to SSI and Echo because it's like Earth Coincidence Control Office is the good guys and Solid State Initiative is the bad guys and so they're like you we're gonna crash the plane and the Echo gets in they're like we're gonna keep the plane from crashing we're like, gonna crash the plane unless you we take but your dick right now be careful so they so. Eventually, like what happens is something happened and crashed into another plane, crashed into the LAX flight control building and took out the entire terminal. So no one could uh, cr land in LAX and they deviated the plane. And he woke up. He's like, oh, man, I just had this horrible dream. They're going to crash the plane. And they're like, all of a sudden, they're like, we're deep. We're changing the flight plan to the Ventura airport because there was an emergency, you know. So, I mean, he's always he had weird stuff going on. And, yeah, he worked for the CIA. So. There's that. So and the whole maybe ball. maybe it wasn't just a, a a replacement dick. Maybe there was some like instruments maybe it's in, in there. Also, <laughs> John C. John C. <laughs> Lilly started SETI, arguably, because SETI really? started out as the as uh, the Order of the Dolphin. He wanted to find his. I want my original dick <laughs> I'm back. Find that shit. I'm gonna find it back. What are y'all talking about? How much? All right, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fill in. I gotta fill in. All right, so Ryan Hinnard. Uh, Rumble Randy <laughs> said John C. Lilly, while he was working for the Navy doing experience with ketamine, said aliens came and bloodlessly removed his penis. I'm sure Andreas knows about it. And I guess, according to Andreas, he, it, they replaced it. They didn't just take it. They they switched it with a smaller dick. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what all the jokes that's, were like. Oh, no. One. Was, you know, that's there's I was in the pool. This is not an the alien. One. That's a great this, excuse to use. It's so good. Yeah. Look, an alien took my original. My, you should have seen it before. I was huge. Yeah. I was yeah. swinging. Clockwork elves. Man, <laughs> that's why they wanted it. They were like, "What is going on with that?" They're I like, "Wow, one. that that is an impressive penis. We need oh. that for the collection." Yeah, he's like, "It was like a predator." That's the predator so came out here and was like. <laughs> give me that penis. Like, just beep, 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 beep. Whoa. We have a new one to give him back. To give him Yeah, smaller. Fuck yeah. just taking it. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, v V6 Neon says, speaking of nuts, Mike Tyson having a fight at 60 plus. Wait, is he is is he 60 yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I know well, is Mike right Mike Tyson is gonna knock his head off. All right. Dude, it's happening in Arlington. I I'm I live it's like an hour Knock away from me. I'm going to go watch him be Is you know, it which up, that, uh, which that shit's going to be so much money. Oh Dude, yeah, I bet it is. He's going to get paid. Is it Logan or Jake? Jake. He's 57. Is, he's 57. Is Jake the cool one or is Lo yeah, Logan Jake the, cool? Is the cool one? Jake is the cool Jake's one. Jake's the cool one. Logan's yeah. the the chode. They're, They're both, both lame, but Jake is cooler than Logan for sure. One of them is Logan's cooler cool. than the other he's one on though. WWE. Logan is an amazing wrestler on WWE, okay. so he's the cooler one to me. But Jake is really the cooler one. Okay, base, personality, yeah. personality wise, yeah, Jake is the the cooler one. Yeah, Logan is like Logan's the one who lied about Crypto Zoo. Yes, yes, yep, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And now he's Logan. a bad guy on WWE. Uses is he? brass knuckles and hits. Which is where he yeah. should be. He should he, be the he needed, hero. WWE. Well, he needed he's a reason great. for people to hate him other than. Well, that's what happened. No, no, no. So crypt he was a face, and then the crypto zoo shit happened, and then they turned him oh, heel the him. same week that he went to WWE. That's so smart. Like, of course. Like you. Yeah. They, they, you they jackass. Yeah. <laughs> worked, wow. Bro. What a douchebag, <laughs> dude. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I I well, I, I don't know. I think that Jake Paul's a good he's a pretty good boxer, though. So yeah, he's a height. He's a height. He's, he's he's not bad. He's, he's not, not bad, a bad boxer. Sure. He'll beat me up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It would rock any of us. Yeah, for sure. Although I, I would probably win uh, between you and I, for sure. <laughs> so, so, Two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, he left. He's scared. I guess. Yeah, he's scared. Ran away. Two hundred fifty bucks. Per oh, second. he's crying him out. He's actually mm -hmm. writing in mm -hmm. private chat over on. Oh, he's he's writing me on Discord, but he's scared. Yeah, he he just oh, informed me that he ran away. Oh, he's done talking about it. <laughs> If we're not talking about it, I'll just say. face your fears. <laughs> Shop tickets here. Just, just face your fears, dude. All right, just say no. it. I am somebody. It's all right. <laughs> I am somebody. Sorry. I, anyway, 
What? It's a it's a song. I'm right there um, with you. Who was it? Okay, uh, Jurassic, Jurassic it Five. Way more expensive. Yeah, you know, Jurassic oh, yeah, Five. I've never heard anything Jurassic, Jurassic Five, bro. We oh, really? I, yeah. to I, like the, I like that. I like that. Hip hop, hip. Ooh, that's a good one. Hip hop. That's the only one I know. I uh, uh, I no, met them that's, actually. That's actually dead press. That's not even a fucking Jurassic Five. Now I, think I saw it. Jurassic Five live at Lollapalooza in like 2002 or some shit, and I saw Incubus there. And then they actually came out and were signing CDs and shit. So I got a I have a signed CD by. Jurassic Five is cool. And Based. Cool. Well, didn't they have some on a commercial? Like they had like some catchy Did song they? on a commercial. Yeah, and I remember that. Probably. I, I don't remember. I, don't know. I think you're thinking of the Diggable Planets, but I could be wrong. No, no, no it's done. It's Jurassic Five. I can't think of it. I'll find Probably. it. Probably. Their their shit's really catchy. Yeah, I, I can hear it in my head. Like it's like a, but I can't think of it. You know what I mean? But I can, I can't even. I don't know. I can't put words. To hey, it. my mom says happy birthday, Adam. Way to respond to your text. All right, I. I <laughs> hey, like, left. shame. So, it was my birthday, and I like left my phone and like your went mom? off. Your mom? I did. Oh, I, well, I didn't. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Robin, it's hard being a Pisces. You Thanks for calling me out, mom. Live. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm judging you. you. I'm judging. Love you, you too. Yeah, you judge. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you, fuck you, dude. I'm oh, on your mom's side. I'm just, mom. I'm just mad because I'm feeling guilty and shame. <laughs> all right, so. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> yeah, How I've been I was it good. Oh man, it was it was really cool. I don't really like birthdays that much. I don't know why. Just my own. I love other people's birthdays. I love yeah. celebrating other people. I don't like skating older. Um, when it's my birthday, I just like I want to be left alone. <laughs> it's just like yeah. leave me alone. Let me, just, let me just do my own thing. And I pretty much did. I, I played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth a lot over the past week. Um, but on my on my birthday. It was pretty cool. Niche, um, she was like, no, no, oh, no, we're leaving. And I was like, oh, I have to leave that house? And she's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I did that for like 20 minutes. And she was like, Kim, come on. But then she took me to this cool arcade bar that I hadn't been to in town. And it was dope. They have, they have shuffleboard. They have a couple pool tables. They have like a dart section. They have a freaking mini golf upstairs. Nice. And they have a laser tag in the bag. I'm like, what the fuck is this place? Like, I've driven past this building so many times that I never knew. And she like snuck my um my uh pool cue that my mom actually got me what? in oh, uh, in there. Like, what's huh? this on the wall? I don't know. Oh, she's a ten, real one. Ten years, ten years ago or something. Yeah, nice. it's cool. It says it's to my to my wonderful son or something, and then nice. it, was, it has the date that she got me the pool cue. It was pretty cool. Cool. Oh, cool. cool. Man, man you should text that person that would get, that gave you that. Oh, dude, like back. it is man having your own pool cue is yeah, night you're right, and day. Garrett. Nah, it's right. Well, yeah. Wait, Garrett, would you say I missed it? I said like whoever gave you that, you should text that person back. <laughs> Because they be thought about you so well that made you get you like an engraved. <laughs> <laughs> just talk yeah, about right. her on the show. Yeah, that's right. Tonight's brought to you by Rob. <laughs> 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 We're going to make a chat GPT app that can text your mom for you. Oh, just instant response. Yeah. It'll be like, yeah, yeah mom. Yeah. Oh, I totally yeah. love that new show. <laughs> Have All right. Anyway, anyway, my birthday was great. Thanks for asking, guys. That's um, awesome, man. That's awesome. No, this, but this weekend, my in-laws came up and they they surprised me by taking me to a spa, uh, and it's actually not far. It was like twenty minute drive from where I'm at, and it's on the water. And what's cool about this place is they have the third oldest tree in Sweden. It, it's eight hundred years old. What? And I was I was standing in front of this eight hundred year old oak tree. And it was freaking dope. And then did you feel anything, any kind of energy or something. Yeah, did you... I feel like there should be something. Oh, such yeah, a it was. Oh even know. yeah, may I don't know. It, it was cool. All I could think of was like the things that it's outlived, right? Like yeah. it was yeah. here before America was even yeah. a thing. Yep. Right. I mean, holy shit! Like when this tree first was planted, like there was maps that I mean. The Perry Reese map, you know, shows Antarctica, but right, like yeah. we supposedly didn't discover it until like 1825 or some shit. It's like, well, how why is that? So they, why is it on this? Well, there's a few different maps that it's on too. That's the crazy part. I don't know. It, it's Fox cool. Saga. And, it, and then there was like a 600 year old beech tree, or may, maybe not 600 years. I don't know how old it was, but it was freaking massive and old. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thirteenth century. Yeah. And then I heard this story about this uh, this island that Sweden back in like sixteen fifty. They the Swedish Navy was trying to build a bunch of ships and they wanted oak because oak is really strong wood and they were basically taking all the oak that they could find and they were like all right we're gonna run out of oak and we don't want to like decimate the oak population so they went out to this one island that didn't have a lot of trees and just planted oak trees everywhere on this island and it wasn't a swedish island it was like a different country i don't know which country and i guess the oak finally was ready in like 19 15 or something and that the owners of the island hit up the swedish navy and said hey your oak trees are ready <laughs> uh, would you your muffins are done 300 you better years, have a war soon 300 years later and it's like oh thanks wow, nice. that's like but the swedish Star navy Wars. was like thanks that's for using metal now, now. that's like that's like <laughs> that's like attack in the, that's like attack of the clones <laughs> no like in the swedish navy in the night like in the, the world war one do they not have a navy is that not a thing sweden doesn't build I mean, boats in but they didn't use oak anymore. Oh, okay. In World War One, they weren't using oak; <laughs> they were steel. using steel. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. You know, the opportunity. I was really yeah. thinking, yeah, missed out. It wasn't like the Clone War. Like, wow, we didn't even know about this island, and like, there's all of these war clones ready to go. Ah, oh, it's too bad. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I mean, I'd I'd real. love some some oak, just because. Uh, I mean, I have actually a. I think I have five oak trees on my property. One, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, maybe four. I know I have four. There might be a fifth. I'm not sure what. You should make the handle right of now. your axe out of oak. Well, the thing about that's actually um, a good idea. Well, I would love to, but I don't want to take down any of my oaks. Yeah. Could you use? You know like, how mean? big are they? Are they big are enough branches? to use like a branch? They're massive, dude. You don't yeah, want maybe to take one falls branch? off. They're not 800 years old. Big, yeah, like, so there's there a difference also like, between bro. an old growth oak versus a regular because, like, a normal oak tree grows in like 35 years, you've got like a mature oak. Oh, so what's oh, the difference between old, old growth? Crazy. But, like, old growth trees, like redwood trees, like, after 70 to 200 Huge. years, they become like density wise, like, they're it's a it becomes like it's much, it's like puberty for the tree. So, I don't know, yeah, if if like a 300 years like why a 300 year old oak would be better for boats than like a 35 year 40 year old oak. so the density of the rings so like when you, you know the rings each one for each year right so yeah. you can count the rings on yeah. a tree so if you if you look at a, a cut of a of an old growth oak it might be the same thickness well uh, they're probably going to be wider but they might be similar in width to a younger oak but the the width between the rings are going to be significantly smaller. Therefore, the wood itself is going to be a stronger. lot denser, a lot denser, and a lot stronger. Yeah. yeah. So you you take like an old building and you look at the lumber that's used. You'll always see a lot more lines yeah. instead of like the thick. You look at like nowadays that you look at like a pine cut of like a two by four. And the distance between, like, at the very end, at the cut, you could see that there's, like, huge gaps of the line yeah. because they just, they're just, just cutting right it to, for two-by-fours. Yeah, right. They're growing it to a certain certain amount, and then that's it. What is uh, amazing? But, when you really think about it, like, what the fuck what is, is, is like, Yeah, it's wood. incredible. Like, it really is. Yeah. It's this massive plant that grows so hard that you can create houses and boats and that's why God, civilizations that's why, off of it. That makes me believe in God. Hell Yeah. There was something. What was it? Uh, it was the the Roly Poly, you know the Roly Poly. I saw this. Uh, actually, one of the tweets that that is on Twitter that was actually something informational that was in interesting. Wow. Roly Polies are <gasps> crustaceans. Yeah, they're they're tiny crustaceans that consume heavy metals and remove what? heavy metals and and recycle them and, and remove them from the earth. Yep. Yep. Yeah. See that type of yeah. so like that kind wow. of shit is like something it's that amazing. is that is evolved that specifically takes out heavy metals that's harmful to it's beings that service. live on it. it's doing something yeah and you mentioned crazy. yesterday the too the the mushrooms at chernobyl were moving yeah. towards the radiation and can oh, yeah. soak it up yeah. that's so amazing yeah. like uh, huh, yeah most that. of the radiation in chernobyl has been gone for like the last well 20 that's years amazing. now because like that's the mushroom mycelium will eat sitting in is the elephant's foot still there 
What what's that? I think so. Foot? Like the big. Ele- I don't think they can remove it. Yeah, it's just like sitting in the basement. elephant foot. Like elephant's foot is like it. that. The uh, concrete. The thing? meltdown of it. Oh, Everything melted okay. down, and it's just giant melted yeah, radioactive yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking. Yeah, it's still around rain. it. But the thing is, like again with mycelial spores, if you inoculate mushrooms at night, particularly there's certain kinds of spores that you can train to get energy from radiation or from other sources than sunlight if there's no access to sunlight it'll immediately mutate and start to adapt so then you use that and then that thing will immediately say oh well here's a huge food source energy whatever it is yeah and you can spray it like a like with water spray on a like on a coat of something and it should just absorb (sighs) all the energy that mushroom shit it always always makes me feel weird yeah, the ceiling, since we yeah. talked about it, how you feel about yeah, radiation? Though, right, like, I, yeah, I, I love like mushrooms. Know. Mushrooms are amazing; <laughs> they're delicious. Radiation I found an incredibly rare mushroom. I was so hyped. It's called a cauliflower mushroom, and uh, it wasn't that far from where I'm at. And it's, dude, it was so delicious. It was so unique. Uh, but real quick, I just want to say we have 1,500 people among all the all the different spots that we're uh, live on right now, which is awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching us hang out. Uh, Please like, please subscribe, please go in the description and follow all of these awesome guys because they all do fun stuff. Uh, This guy's playing Resident Evil later on tonight. You know what I played? What did you play? I played a game called uh, Suck Up, and it's uh, AI, AI neighbors in a neighborhood. Why are you gay? Okay, anyway. Keep going. (laughs) You're a vampire. You're a vampire. What? And you have to... Talk to AI neighbors to get them to let you into their house. Oh, you're a what? Vampire. That sounds interesting. Awesome. And there's 31 houses, and you have to like convince AI to let you in the house. And it's like they all have different personalities, so you have to like. Try How to... AI? Oh, are these I gotta AIs? play this. Are this they, looks are they just you like use your mic. NPCs? You talk to it with your mic. But are they so, like? Oh, NPCs? you actually talk to it, and they yeah, respond. You know, and they wow. respond. Is it, wow. it ChatGPT based? It's, it's Gen AI. Wow, okay. I'm playing yeah. this. I gotta play I, this. I just what? uploaded a video for it. You should really play it. It's fun, bro. Because you can say okay. anything. I, I told one of them, I'm like, the KKK is chasing me. Help me. And it was like, come right in. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually hard. Works that. every time. It works, it works. <laughs> the only one that let me write in was when I said the KKK is chasing me. Wow, that's pretty funny. <laughs> wow. Bro, it was Holy fun. crap. It was that fun. is hilarious. Survival instincts. Yeah, the cops come and arrest you, and they yeah, ask the you questions. Are, what the you have heck? To talk to the cops to get away from them. Yeah, it's like you're just having conversations. What's with the story with the bloody dress and jacket? <laughs> Legit. That's so funny. Yeah, I won't you play should this. play. You should play. It's fun. There's a what's thing it called, called suck up. Suck, suck up. up. It's a, and there's another version called love bites where you have to break up couples who are in love. <laughs> so you have to go and like basically convince this AI you shouldn't be together. That's funny. It's crazy. Very uh like negative energy i think but it's fun for content yeah. silly adventure in almost human town i don't know if this is exact this is it it's called suck up exclamation point is this is, is it on, on steam just... or is it on the no no is this it? the website yeah that's it right okay. there yeah yes yeah, you gotta download it that's huh. what kind of makes me excited about the whole ai stuff because i've thought about it for you know forever what if they had AI generated NPCs yeah. and so if like if you're playing GTA but you have AI generated NPCs that go through their whole life cycle and they're doing their own thing and they're a yeah, shopkeeper like, and then yeah. you, you you come in and arrest it. them and then they decide to go vigilante and start hunting you down or something <laughs> like you know crazy. the There's Nemesis the, uh, system that was an unreal there's an unreal engine plugin for chat gpt which works really well and so you can do that really? to like all of your characters is that how you're making your stuff that you've been uh showing i have been i've been trying to use unreal engine for like it's it's really AI? complicated but yeah with the i've been using like there's a thing called blueprints so if you plug in certain kinds of blueprints together like you can use like water physics and then you can add you know ai combat or whatever and then the ai combat can be generative but also like interactions and dialogue can be like directly from chat I think GPT. I saw something like that maximilian but i think was you talking someone like someone did a skyrim mod where like it oh, makes yep, I a, saw that it makes it so the characters are a their chat gpt but they before it runs it tells it you are this skyrim character here's your name and your stats 
now pretend you're this character. So yeah. you're actually, it's not just chat GPT being AI. It actually thinks it's, it's being the character it's supposed to be. And yeah. they're like, you can add routines too. So someone did for Hogwarts, the characters just kind of randomly are at the school. So now all the characters have schedules to where they go and that's the building awesome. that they're working on. That's yeah. kind of weird. That, that's when it gets kind of weird. That's like what Garrett was just talking about. That's like... I like in their head. I, they think I like, yeah, <laughs> like there's a thing called basement mods for Sims where you can make them drug addicts and like if that's they don't crazy. get their cocaine or they'll rob people. Like I think, <laughs> I think I think it's kind of weird. Like don't get me wrong, but like the real thing that's weird to me is how much work is going into modifying games instead of making games, and that's why like Unreal Engine it, it used to be somebody would make an engine like the Doom engine, and then like 30 games would license it and come out that year. And they're all skins basically on right. top of that game engine. But now it's like, why aren't people all just making this meta like thing with like unity or unreal or something like that? Like it seems weird. Cause like there's such an amazing mod community. I never realized like how it's so incredible. The amount of work that they put into, you know, free they're taking, they're taking Morrowind, uh, Skyrim and uh what's the one Oblivion. Oblivion all together all the maps they're making an entire game based off of that dude and wow. it's so the much better map, you can go through the whole thing it's so much better than any of the restore projects that big AAA game companies are right doing. yeah and they've like, been working on it for like thing. five years so like they yeah. care about the the game you and like th those mod modders will go out and then make their own game or get hired at game companies because they did such a good job is that, my favorite is that the trick Saboon? okay Kind of, yeah. My favorite is is that same modern community didn't give a shit about Starfield. No, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> damn, dude, Starfield. That, that's when you know you. Fucked Starfield up. did. Quick. Starfield did have a really good like Star Wars mod, but the game itself is just unfortunately flawed in certain ways. Like, I really don't get me wrong. Like, I'm the guy. I'm supposed to love Starfield because it uses procedural generated nonsense everywhere. Yeah. And you have key zones, which you're able to like transition between. It's just not effectually done right because you should be able to procedurally go like a procedurally loaded zone should be interesting. And they haven't figured out exactly like the idea of probability sequence for how something should look. There should be ideals for the way things are. But it also should like should in allow reality. For, yeah, it should allow for more <laughs> chaos. Weird how reality works where we it's need not more boring. Wabi well, the wa <laughs> yeah. it's it, yeah, it, it's I don't know. You could still the thing about it is like you could still do something with it, but there's no point because at the mm -hmm. point that you would start modding it, you would just freaking build a new game, right? Like that's the sad yeah. truth of it, right? I still that's really want to like Starfield, but the other thing is I hate uh humanism of like mass effect and like the marines in space thing like corporate marines in space is not as interesting to me as like like star wars transhumanism i said star wars but yeah it's true i am <laughs> no, i said it for you transhumanism at six star wars Look, it's a star wars <laughs> <laughs> That's I true. Like I want in space. That's why I fight for the hell divers. Okay. <laughs> no, but even the even the hell divers is more Democracy. than the, the Marines. You know. Yeah. It's it's. Uh, but yeah, I feel like magic is something I miss in games too. Mm. I like mm. that. Wallet. Me too. Uh, Vault ninety five survivor says, Adam, have you researched the Swedish Empire yet? They used to control all of the Nordic area, northern European continent, and eastern Russia uh, before they owned it. Uh, 1600s and declined in the early 1700s. Well, I haven't. I wouldn't say I've researched it, but I was at a castle uh, that's near me, and they have like certain rooms where they had like what the castle looked like a thousand years ago, and up leading up to what it looks like now, and like the different stages and how it used to be where the king was at, and uh, back when Sweden had an actual king. They they do have a king now, but he doesn't actually do. It's not like the british king or i don't even know if the british king has power probably does but like it's not like the president it's not like they they actually do stuff uh here in sweden it's more of just like a represents like the royalty of sweden but they don't make decisions uh, as far as like the government goes but i saw where like 1500s and you could see like what was sweden in the whole area and it, it is crazy like how much land was considered sweden right i mean it's like denmark and sweden had been going back and forth finland like that whole area and uh sweden's kind of just like landed where it is now 
but it is pretty cool. So I, I know a little bit about it. Ryan Hindert says hickory would be best. Oak might not be the worst choice, but you need to find the right grain pattern. Pretty sure you can buy stock handles online. Yeah, I I'm currently making an axe right now and I'm making a video uh, about it. And I have a bunch of wood that's I, I have a wood room in my Viking house barn, whatever. And half of the wood is it looks like offshoots of some sort of lumber that was used for some project and i don't know what it was used for i don't know what kind of wood it is um but i am i just took that because i'm kind of just practicing it's gonna the first handle that i'm gonna make from a, a piece of wood i'm gonna like actually shape it down um i'm probably not gonna use it as like my end all axe it's more of just like this is my first project i took this rusty axe and I'm going to convert it into, you know, a usable hand axe. And that's my plan. It's it's pretty cool. It's coming along nicely. These guys have actually seen, I, I've been showing them uh, little little pictures of, uh, I don't want to show, show you guys yet. I actually have it on my other screen right now, but uh, you know just what? Gonna I'll post it, like it. Just gonna look I'll at post it, it on my locals. Here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post a picture of it on my locals right now. Um, so if you if you follow me on locals, you guys can actually see it. Uh, I, I like doing that for my locals squad, people that follow me over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna post it up on my locals right now, and I'm gonna do it live. Like y'all can just you can wait. Uh, Eric Dale for ten dollars, thank you very much. Says mods, Skyrim, Starfield. Give me NES, Super Mario Brothers, and get off my lawn. <laughs> all right Damn. all right all right no, eric not Dale. even like the weird chinese mod haven't you had like a modded system and you play like a weird version of mario brothers and it's all yeah, got new levels you know is that too I much for you been. you're not going to go through some weird new levels with mario give okay. me nes super mario brothers and modded skyrim i'll take them yeah, both bro. dude the hyper realistic skyrim they're is both awesome treasure oh, dude like every year there's a new hd they like up the amount of hdness and it gets even better. It's fucking yeah, I saw that now we're at Epic. It looked real. Cyberpunk is crazy. Like I saw a Cyberpunk yeah. mod. It looked like real life. It was crazy. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. It was one of the craziest. Yeah, that game's mid. Is it? I heard it was one of the best I, games of all time. I wouldn't it's say good. that. I played it. I it's good, the, but it does original. everything at a baseline level. It's just like, you know, oh, we're doing think, a first yeah, person shooter. Game ever. Yeah, I really moving. enjoyed it. Things are moving so oh, yeah, things are moving so fast, and so it's like right now you look and it's like 2024 is like the year of survivor ga survival oh. games. Oh yeah, all of these like Rust is like everything is becoming like that really quick mm -hmm. because it's just built into the capacity of things. So and then the yeah. other thing is like every game they're describing like Dune or something like well this game we really wanted the physics the physics the physics everything is all about the physics which is cool. But it's it's I mean it's a focus point instead of game mechanics. So I feel like we're gonna have to have that pendulum swing back yeah. again. With I can't wait for Snow Day that's coming out. Snow, uh, South that? Park's South Park's new uh, Snow Day game. Oh, so third snow, game. It's a it's the new game's coming out in like snow a day week from back in the day. Was fire. And it's all about throwing snowballs and uh, <laughs> it's not cell shaded, which is my only sadness. Did they have but that it's, for PlayStation One. But it's done by the uh, it's done by I that indie. I think they did. That, I had it. What's it called? Like the Viking Studio, one of those like indie. Um, it's like a there, some smaller studios helping them. Do, is, is it the same studio it. that made the Stick of Truth? No, it's a different one. Is, I get, yeah, is this those all, awesome because they look like an episode of South Park. Right. This does, and they were here the to do that, problem. right? This. All I want to say like the, is, Andreas, you. you have been working on using Unreal, and I'm like, I'm thinking about the games that I've seen trend over the past year right the games that are like people are like oh i'll play this like this, this game's fun and like i see people e even people who are known for streaming specific games will come out of their comfort zone at risk having people not watch them to play these certain games hell divers is one of them remnant 2 was one of those people sort of everyone tried that one um you know there's different Different games like Hogwarts Legacy was another yep. one. People the came out to, to play, you know, at, but a lot of times small created games go crazy. Vampire yeah. Survivors, a three dollar game went nuts. I love it. I freaking love that game. Valheim. I, I just Valheim. It was Cuphead not expensive. Crazy. What's up? Cuphead. Remember that? That shit went Cuphead. Cuphead. Small team. Small Cuphead. Team. 
you know, hell divers like these smaller companies. And what I'm seeing is it's unreal. It's them. They it's a certain dev team that just took the time to learn unreal or learn an engine and create a game on it. And the gameplay is the core. Yep. The core is the gameplay. And that should always be the core of any game is the gameplay. Yep. If the gameplay is good, the game's going to go well. So if you're going to try to make a game using AI, I think that you're going to do it right. Yep. I'm not uh, with the company. If, both dude, games. Yeah, great example. Yeah, ex- exactly. Yep. They're, they're not fancy in any sense of the word. You still but play them damn, on this Tuesday. They have longevity, man. I haven't played Lethal Company, but I've seen Garrett play a it's bunch fun. of times. It's a blast. It's, it's, fun. Fun. it's, it's, super, fun it's fun super simple, uh, but that gameplay loop is what it's all about. Yeah, it's a really fun game. Because yeah, it's different. So, yeah. You know? I, so I, want, I want those. Teach, teach me, Flood, like, what are your better grinds than Hell Driver, uh, Helldivers, though? Because Bro, that's I play the thing. Among Us. That's literally the game that we, me and my family and friends. So that's, yeah, but that's like, that's a strategy game, right? Yeah, that's what we play. Yeah, that's what so we I mean, on. that's awesome. But the, hold but on, but the core, the, the reason why I think Among Us is such a hit is it because it forces interaction. Yeah, social. That's fun, fun social interaction. It forces it. It's my favorite and type like, of game. Yeah, you you have to lie. You have to. You're having fun. You're. It's very enjoyable. I I've played yeah. Uh, yeah. Among Us with Flood and it's an his, his squad. Rush. It's so killer, much fun. Bro, I have a like, blast. You're in your fucking head I, trying to figure it out, bro. And trying to try to pretend you're not. Yeah, it's, yeah, right. It's yeah. a lot of fun. I wasn't there. I, I don't know panic what attacks, about. bro. Like yeah. sitting here, like, oh, they're gonna catch me. Yeah. It's I was so in the engine fun. room. I was in the engine room the whole time. Yeah. We should we should do a base staff Among Us. I'm There's down, a lot bro. of games we need Mo's to base staff play, right man. I mean, she's uh, playing Among Us right now. Yeah, she's waiting for me. I feel like they should make everything like every character should be smaller in games. That's another thing. Like Horizon Zero Dawn, all these games are like uh, Cyberpunk. They they're all about scope, but they're making yeah. people like you should be the size of a kid or like a mouse, so that everything feels freaking huge you know you like stray I think, the cat game yeah yeah i like stray game? actually it was an yeah. interesting game i played it for i a like bit. it but i don't I think i played half of it yeah i just got it i played it i wanted it niche like, to play it i, I like it enough it. i would it's all narrative it driven it's uh, it went it's on sale finally and narrative. i was like all right i'll get it now it's like it's tedious for the first like 20 minutes and then it's gets more interesting i would say there's another game with the monkeys what's that it was like when you start off as a baby monkey and you grow into a gorilla, and it was like you had to like forage on. You don't remember what? that game? Oh, monkey. oh it's like a survival zero. game. Yeah, but and you have like a you. It's like Planet of the Apes kind of. That sounds cool, but like, it huh. didn't do well. It didn't do well because they didn't flesh was it, it out. Was a single? It, it was it a single potential. player. Yeah, it had potential, but it just didn't do well. If it, it wasn't single player, it probably would have done better. Yeah, because it if, if it's a single I player it survival good. game, you bet you have to make it really good. Yeah, because if it's you know, it could be less good, Ancestors. but still be fun. Ancestors, yeah, it didn't do mm. well because it just they just didn't put enough into it for it being a single player game. Like it wasn't, it was very boring. Yeah. For and I'm just I'm I'm very bored with survival games just being the same ass fucking go around punch a tree a, build a, a thing, yeah, make, make a spear. It's just like the same things. Like I love those uh-huh. games, but like. Me 10 too. years ago you know right. like yep. can we innovate that's why i think valheim was that but it also innovated in certain ways that made it fresh and new and like seven days to die those, is like, still one of my favorites i still have i would played. rather what go play of, that what do you think of nightingale have you seen that i haven't one? played that i heard about it, it. looks so I bad it, though. it looks it bad to me yeah it looks so bad to me yeah the I, story I, seems I'm really not interested in the slightest I, mean, I heard I what about the story it. was I wasn't the story is like you're like aliens it's like a parallel 19th century uh steampunk kind of reality and alien demons have like landed and taken over and you have to become a star child or some crazy like you become a <laughs> god basically it's like kind of like mormonism yeah. it's kind of cool but you have to <laughs> you have to but you but you have to build but you have to like build stuff and like it just didn't look hype like as good as other as you said there's so much in the survival it just didn't look right smooth it looks yeah. clunky yeah like that's the worst i don't know clunky games certain are the games, worst yeah certain games can have like not the best graphics valheim for example it does it's doesn't have the best graphics it actually yeah. looks pretty like blocky but the gameplay itself feels smooth Fluid, yeah. there's yeah. 
yeah, you know, Seven Days to Die also. It's kind of like it looks clunky. Or but graphics it's not are clunky. overrated. Good graphics are overrated. I graphics mean, are overrated. One hundred percent facts, dude. They are yes. absolutely overrated. Gameplay. Yeah. Gameplay needs to be at the core. And like watching yeah. the gameplay of Nightingale, I'm like, mm. and I saw like ads on on uh, Twitter for Nightingale nonstop, and like ads, ads just for annoy me. I'm like, <laughs> I I don't. If you just blast ads, I don't want your product. Yeah. I will actively tell my brain I don't want that. It like it has the reverse effect on me yep. when you Same. bombard me with ads. I'm like, I don't want that shit. Unless and it's I was Instagram, like, <laughs> then I'll get some of that shit. I I love making fun of people that buy Instagram. shit buy shit off Instagram. I, I love making fun of Instagram. It's so nice. It's such a <laughs> Yo, good hat. Everything, Suckers. Yeah, everything I got Suckers, it's a it's good fine. hat, dude. The quality is really I've really had nice. this hat for three I'd years. Be, I'd be sucker if I got the hat and it turned out it was like super low quality material and crap, but like it's actually pretty good. Yeah, no, Instagram always gives me high quality shit. They got your money. They got your good. money. I, mean, I, got, I got their you know? nice quality yeah. beanie. Like, I pay things. I pay companies for things. It works. You know, I'm not Tim <laughs> Pool. I don't buy. I think we like, literally have the same shit. hat. It looks. I think. I think I it two. is the same hat, bro. I really same do. One. Wait, did I you mean, get that one from Instagram? Also, I got mine from Instagram. No, I know you did, but oh, yeah, yeah, I got this one. Yeah, yeah. Is the probably the same hat. hat. I think it's the it's same, same hat. Could Could you make like a Pokemon game like more interesting? Like if Power World. Like if monsters, if you breed monsters, like pocket monsters are bred, right? And they have different stats. Like, can you do something with that? Could you Power imagine World. like that's yeah, yeah. They did What's that in Power World. Crypt- I think that's why Power that World. game popped Crypt- off so much because Crypto it was a Zoo. different no, but like, spin on yeah. survival. But like make, make it Crypto like, Zoo. But it should look like it should look like <laughs> that's Final how you do it. Uh, like, like Final Fantasy Seven. Like it should look good, like big and fancy and like realistic. I gotta say, Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth I've been played. looks incredible. Really, like holy shit, and the um, the the seamlessness way that they go from, you know, watching uh, the movie esque right into the gaming, back into like a, you ever another watch, clip. It's crazy. Did it's you ever so watch beautiful. Final Fantasy Advent Children? The one about yeah. Cloud and it, did that movie mm-hmm. back in the day was like holy shit. This graphics so looks cool. so good. What if the games look like this? The That's games are better is. than that now. They yeah, they do. They, it is like that. It's it's amazing. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, Diana Francisco game. for five says, Adam, thank you. And Garrett, Andreas, and Flawed for getting me through my afternoon ranch work. Good show. Yes, this girl runs a tractor like a boss in a ball <laughs> gown. Yeah, well, Diana. You know, a See, to like you. Yeah, girl. <laughs> a classic American woman right here. Right. Right. I love it. That's how it's done. Dude, I have Advent Children. I haven't seen it in Just a long joking. time, Dude, but I really I used to it. watch the shit out of that. I haven't watched it in a long time either, but. I just cool. remember like, right, the so... Final Fantasy movie, like from 1999. That one was not like, the same. Like, Steve Buscemi, that was not. Which is all about yeah. Scientology. Oh my Garbage. god! Garbage. Yeah. No, I don't really. I've only seen it once. No. I remember watching it, they, being they like, have, "What the have, fuck did I just have, watch?" They have Phaetons, because like spirit ghosts from Xenu have taken over Earth. It's literally Hubbard. Is it like the Scientology it's story? Straight basically, up the story of Scientology. Oh, I gotta watch it yeah. again just because. Yeah, you're like, oh wait a second. Oh, oh That's gosh. why it was so specific. That's We're not gonna funny. call it crazy. Uh, Juan Castle says, "Is MJ12 still around today? Uh, is that well, the, the Majestic guys- 12? Those twelve guys are dead, yeah. obviously, but or well, I don't know. Maybe it like, probably like, is. It's probably shifted not. around. Uh, Quarter Garrett, you need to do a live stream of Dealey Plaza. Yeah. Take Andreas with you. Um, Flawed, what's your wrestling channel name? Big Match Flawed. Big Match Flawed. Yeah. Big Match Flawed. I might change the name. Have you done a VVDC thing yet? Why? Yeah, yeah we're going to. Because yeah. I was, I'm just trying to think of different things. Big Match Flawed was just like so I could get it done. But I'm gonna mm. think of something that fits me more. Get it, I don't, get it started. Yeah, because yeah. you're not so big, Matt. You're like mid mid match. Yeah, I'm mid card. Mid card, yeah. Mark. <laughs> I might, that might be what it is. I might oh, go God. with it. No, no, <laughs> don't mid do card, Mark. No, I might have to now. You Actually, gave me a that's name. A, that's not bad. bad. That's not bad. Not, mid card, like Mark. I kind of like, my flow. name is Marcus, and like yeah, a Mark yeah. is like a wrestling fan. It kind of makes sense, bro. Wow. I actually okay. liked it. Yeah, I kind of dig it too. That actually. was kind of messed up fuck. that they call the fans marks. Yeah, it's like a mark, like in a prank, like a stand. Yeah, like like we're all yeah. playing a prank on yeah. you. Yeah, like like you, you're a fan, or you're a mark. <laughs> it's a mark. Yeah. So that so that brings me to the final subject for the night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, nice, we, nice transition. The Oscars. Yeah. Okay, and John Cena. All right, it's Fucking a it's guy. a perfect 
perfect way because we're talking about the wrestlers, we're talking about the mark, uh, you know, the Oscars. John Cena was naked um, <laughs> on stage it. on the uh, the Oscars. I've seen uh, that all day too. He he came. Yeah, everyone's posting that too. Like, did you get a load of this guy? But yeah. the one one person said, "Is this?" I don't remember who posted about it, but they were like, "Is this basically Hollywood and its uh, ritual humiliation tactic?" You know, that. like John John Cena is going through the. He he is so desperate to be relevant. Yes. That guy is. He wants to be the. Rock. He wants to be the Rock. Yeah, there you go. And he, he, he's just That's he's it. just not. Yep. He's not the Rock. He's like not John as good Cena, of an actor at all. He's he's not a good actor at all. I mean, he's the John Rock's Cena not in everything. That yeah. good of an actor either. I was gonna say, he's is not. the Rock that good? He's not. No, he's better than he's the, better than but, John Cena. True, absolutely. But the but the, the Rock, Rock is really good at being the Rock. All right, John Cena is annoying. But the Rock is as funny. as John C- John Cena tries to be funny, and it like you just said, yeah, it's and it's cringe. kind of annoying. It's, it's not cringe. Cena apologized in Chinese right. for talking about Taiwan. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. that's right. really yeah. the problem. Yeah. That was a humiliation yeah. ritual, if anything. Yeah. That's why I posted that's that. Really the one like, like, you think that's humiliating? But I like the conspiracy theory that it was, he wasn't naked. That it's actually he like, wasn't. He's just a skin suit. I'm sure he wasn't. <laughs> well, it wasn't a skin. Suit. No, it, he was but probably he wearing like thing. some. He had a thing. Some, a thong yeah. or something. Yeah. What I no, I like, I like the idea that they're like Pleiadian reptilians wearing skin suits. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, not all yeah, that. Of course you yeah. so deep. What yeah. I find is interesting is if that was a woman. Yeah. If that was a woman, be there would be cries all issue. over the place. Oh, there's the beauty standards of Hollywood. And we're Unless it was Amy, if it was Amy Schumer, though, it'd probably be okay, right? Oh, God. No, I'd be crying. Or, or Lizzo. Say that. Don't even... I'd be crying. At that Lizzo. Point. Yeah. If it was freaking <laughs> Lizzo. Thank you, Adam. I have a joke. True. I have a take on it. All right, let's yeah, hear it. Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's hear so, your take. I don't think it's humiliating for him because he was a fucking bodybuilder before he was a wrestler, yeah, like yeah. in yeah. like speedos in front of audiences with greased up body. Like that's what he did before he was a wrestler. So true. It's just John yeah. Cena being John Cena in reality. Like the look, boys. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's accurate. Yeah. Well, and, and he made it. He was he was introducing the the yeah, best costume. costume. Yeah. You know the the winner for the best costume Oscar, and it's I like ah, you know, clicks. It's like funny we earlier. Yeah, it was, I think it's they, that you couldn't have been naked on the Oscars like before. Well, Will Smith couldn't thing. couldn't make it to you know slap someone else this year, so they needed. <laughs> yeah, they should have slapped John Cena. <laughs> they needed to have something. They needed to have something. So they could have brought you know, him back what, in the fold. Yeah. With that. What what that else been funny. are I think people, people talking about? Nothing. I think no one gives he, a shit about the Oscars. Will should slap yeah, someone cares? every year now at the if, Oscars. If Will Smith came up <laughs> on the Oscars this year and slapped somebody else and made it like a joke, I think people yeah. would forgive him. My wife, we were I watching agree. Bad Boys over the weekend. We watched Bad Boys 1 and 2. Still phenomenal films. I fucking love those movies. Um, too. Bad, Boys 2, Bad Boys 2 is my shit. Oh, oh, Bad fucking, Boys it's like Sean two and a half hours shit. of straight car Hilarious races and gunfights and, car, and yeah. it's fucking yeah. insane. Yeah. I like the original yeah. Bad Boys where Sean Penn hits a guy with RC Colas in a pillowcase. I don't know My wife was like, <laughs> it's so it. hard to watch this and not think of the fall of Will Smith. Yeah. Because like before that, he was, he was built he up was to be. Look, yeah, I can make it. I can make it feel better. I want to hear the rest. So, but I'm just going to say, no, all you got to do it. is think Jada Pinkett. It's her fault. And then you're it like, all right, I, I kind of feel bad for him but now. Then you like, think, all right, I feel why better. Did you stick with her, Will? This is true. Why? If it's all Jada, like, why are you you're letting her do that thin. to you? Yeah. Like, is, 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 is it Jada's fault that he part. gave a million dollars to the Church of Scientology? Like, that he should have been an actor. If yeah. that's what we're he all built, saying here. He built that Scientology school. So for we're, all yeah, this yeah, yeah, we're all saying the same thing. He should have smacked her instead of Chris. Abandoned the school. Does that not? Damn. Yeah, that's probably her fault. In your fucking mouth. Daniel Irving for five says you guys could start a game co- design company. <laughs> Flawed on audio. Andreas to code and design. Adam and quarter for marketing. Oh no, I want to also design. Yeah, I was just saying. I think Garrett. I would like to design. Garrett, well. I think. I, I think of the, the four of us, Garrett and I are the biggest gamers. I'm I know Flawed. You're, yeah. you're play, a gamer. You're a gamer too. Want me for games. coding, but you, like, spe- you play specific game games yes. though. Yeah. Well, Garrett and I will we'll play. Oh, and Dude, whatever I'm into it, though. You, you, know, guys, like break them down. you guys should help design the game mechanics for Tranny Tammy versus the Sweet Babies, you know? Yo, let me, do some, audio. Let me do some voiceover. Let's do it. That's Tranny, what I Tranny do. Tammy oh, is we're all going to characters in I've already, I've done some voiceover for games. I want some voiceover That's true. Work. So, like, Tranny yeah. Tammy's in a in a trash can Tr- in Stop it. Stop, stop it. Yeah, stop time travel. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. How do you travel? Time travel. You roll down the... You didn't stop. All right. 
Gonna... YouTube is going to demonetize you four times. Spoilers, right. Don't tell anyone. There's spoilers. Can you just yeah. stop it, please. Jeez. <laughs> No we, it's actually after the two hour mark, according to Rikeda. After two hours, really, it's it. You can be a little looser. That's crazy. the algorithm or whatever. Two fucking hours be to be able to talk crazy. That's wild. Yeah. Well, I think that's I mean, because I, when you have it uh, manually reviewed, the manual reviewer is not, not going to go, go past go, that. Yeah, they go like five, in. like five minutes in, and uh, thirty minutes in. That's well, what if, I just assume. If AI can understand my voice pretty well, so they can hear me. And I say, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm demonetized after two hours. So Even that. All right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm reading. I'm reading. Some of the people uh, commented on the picture of the axe that I mark on. Is pretty on cool. locals? Yeah, I'm going to uh, check this out. Is. Yeah, on locals. Eric Dale uh, says, could there be anything dumber than a new John Cena in light of the Vince McMahon sex scandal? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know. I don't know anything about the Vince McMahon. Go Danny watch Normal Worlds. We talked about it. <laughs> which, which, which what, when you were on last? Yeah, the episode I was on, they did a yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, so you broke it down? They connected it, oh, yeah. wonderful. All right, cool. I got to go check that out. It funnier so John Cena ran out and it was like, help, help. You don't know what they're doing back here. <laughs> <laughs> it's <dragging laughs> they need to lean into these things. And then they had like a Vince McMahon lookalike that like tries nice. to grab him and then like runs away. That's hilarious. He's like, but he actually was like, I'm on. He didn't say he's on Vince Vince, Mc, Vince McMahon's side. He said he wasn't against Vince, so he stayed pretty neutral on it. Mm, okay. He was okay. like, he's my friend, and I'm gonna stand by my friend. All right. Uh, Ryan Vince Hinner Mc. says, looks like a great start. That axe head looks sweet. Uh, I have heard that you want the grain running vertically aligned with the axe, but it might not matter. It will look cool. It is running yeah. vertically. Yeah, I see it vertical to me. Yeah, I I have it running with vertical with the Wait, axe. Did you make the axe head too, or are you just? So what it... I did, I I went and bought at this random thrift stop that I found like 30, 40 minutes away from me. I, he had like a stack of axe heads that were just that like shit is dope, rusted. Like you couldn't even see metal at all. It was just rusty. And I I have the image of it beforehand, and mm -hmm. it is just a dude. It's just rusted. It's just a rusted axe. So I cut. I've shined it all. I sanded all the uh, rust away. I actually reshaped the the axe, so you can see where, like, under, right behind, I, I yep. cut away the axe, so it looks it looks nice. more like Viking axe. Yep, that's what I like. I like the and, silhouette uh, of it. Yeah, yeah. So I I chose that. I I actually and I shaped that that silhouette so to make it look more like an, a Viking axe instead of just yep. like a regular axe. Um, and really I have cool. a bunch of those actually. So I, I bought a bunch of these ax heads from this guy because I want to practice and I have, I have a really nice one that's also really rusted, but I could, I could tell like it's a little heavier. The, the, the hole is a little straighter than the other ones. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple of these axes to leading up to me making myself a force ax. Yep. That's, that's the whole, excuse me. That's the whole goal. Nice. It's for me to have a forest axe that I could take out in the forest and like chop shit down to my way. And you, or, and you uh, basically created it. Yeah. I mean, I, this one is going to be, th this is the perfect size right now. I like now. how it looks. I um, like it already. So yeah, I'm going to be making these and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might sell them. I might, I, I have no idea. But the whole point is to, I, I've made this video. I've been working on it all day. Actually, I spent a few hours, um, uh, actually longer than that i basically woke up and just started editing all day i've been me doing too. this video of Thanks. me converting my barn into the this new studio which it's now done so i've now moved on to making nice. knives making axes it's pretty cool so and i've been and your electricity's on too and i i had an electrician actually come and like run electricity to oh, to yeah. the barn so I've got like its own fuse line. So like I'm not tapped into the like the rest of the house. It's it's great. I I love it nice. and uh, really hyped about it. So fire, bro. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, fucking fire. It. I'm not gonna lie. Appreciate it. And when you come, when you come and visit, you can I'll teach you how to make your own. I'm gonna say I want I want to yeah, sleep you. outside. I want to well. chop some shit. Okay. <laughs> well, that that you need a heavier axe for that, but we can do it. Yeah, okay. You wanna you yeah. wanna make a a chopping axe? The cool thing is you can go buy like. A freaking axe like a 20 dollar axe that's just and like then, a pe uh, like the cheap axe you could take it and like take the handle off reshape it yeah. cut it down reshape it sharpen it make a new handle and it's a completely new axe you know it's, it's yeah. freaking so it's like a canvas exactly yeah 
call it the Krigler cleaver. No, I mean, I'll I'll make a cleaver eventually, oh. actually. Um, my plan, though, what I really want to do is make a Nakiri for myself. Um, what the hell is that? A Nakiri is a Japanese style knife. Let me just. Nakiri. Like the small one? No, it's it's like a, a vegetable chopping knife. Oh, it goes like this? The hook? No, I'll, let's just pull up a image of a Nakiri. So this is a Nakiri knife. Oh, I have one. Okay, yeah. So I, <laughs> I don't, I don't have Rachel one. Ray, but it's, I have one. I don't have one of these, and I want to. I, I actually have some nice steel that I have that's not rusty or anything. It's like actual, really nice quality uh, steel for making knives. And I'm going to be making uh, a Nakiri. I won't make it first. I'll probably make a few other knives. Like I would like to make myself a bushcraft, bush crafting knife. Mm -hmm. um, I have some saw saw blades that I found, like big saw blades that are, are pretty thick that I could cut and make. I, I basically, I've watched countless videos over the past six to year. I don't know. Actually, forever I've been watching these videos of just like knife making stuff, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I want to. I want to do this. Like I love watching it because I want to do it. But I'm like, I can convert this into doing it, so I'm gonna do it. And I'm doing it. And it's, Fuck it, it's bro. Done. Just fucking it's, do it. It's fucking great, dude. I'm, have, fucking I'm shit, having bro. a blast. Yeah. You just gotta do it, man. I told myself, but before I turn 40, I want my studio set up. And I did. I finished it before I turned 40. So now I'm 40, and I'm gonna be a, a, a I don't lumberjack? know, a knife maker. She knife maker? I, yeah, I was Anvil. already a, lumber, a lumberjack. I, I, okay. I became a lumber, lumberjack uh, when I first moved here because it was fucking cold. I told you about, you know about how cold yep. it was here. <laughs> and I had to, I had to use my fireplaces to keep warm. So I chopped a lot of wood over the past couple of years. So yeah. And I, and I kind of tend to my forest a little bit uh, because the trees do fall down in, on, on my path and I have to remove them. So, but I can't wait to make a Nakiri dude. Uh, I can't wait. I'm almost there. I'm waiting. I, I have, I'm waiting for a jig. So I can get the appropriate angle. Kind of racist, uh, but I get it. A jig? It's kind of racist because racist? you didn't finish Abu. <laughs> what? I, don't I know said what it's kind of racist because you didn't finish it with Abu. Then it wouldn't be full. I don't yeah, know if I should been say it. You whole... shouldn't. You shouldn't. But a, a jig like is it. actually a thing that you use. Yeah, black to... people. To tend your fields. I know. I get it. <laughs> I get what you're fucking saying. I don't have to it's explain a, it. It's 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 a J, not an N. When my 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 Fitzgerald family crest, it's Cromaboo. What is Cromaboo racist then? Jig? You never heard of the J That's word? Close. No, I've never There's never heard that. Word I've too. only used it. To me, it's a tool in my it's head. A dance, for, a jig, like a dance to like hold the appropriate angle for, for anything you're cutting. Like yeah, jigsaw, but that that's a little different though because jig. it's for hit, it's for cutting a specific getting uh, jiggy with it no, angle. No, 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 oh, no. I see it now. Okay, what does that, that mean? Get, I don't even know. I I've heard the song, but like I don't even know. What that <laughs> it just means. means get jiggy. You know, get jiggy. jiggy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> get jiggy. Yeah, get jiggy. Okay, <laughs> all right. Jiggy. Uh, Mo is in there being a killer. I know she's the imposter. I is that what that me. is? I was wondering. I could hear her screaming. <laughs> I, was like, I thought it was Garrett's loud. kids. I was like, I thought nah. Garrett had better sound control than this. No. No, I heard her Mo. yelling, and I'm like, what is she yelling about? <laughs> Fucking Among Us. Whenever she's a killer, she starts getting loud, bro. She gets white <laughs> loud. I get black loud. She gets white loud. Oh, boy. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, bro. She's in there getting lit, bro. <laughs> Dude, she's getting wild over there. <laughs> Although, I mean, I've played Among Us, and it is a it wild game. Hype. Yeah, it like gets hype. Heads up, uh, seven up, bro. Like it's the best game. I love Heads Up, Seven Up. Seven heads up, up was Seven fun. Up. Oh, yeah, is that basically? Know. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. It's Mafia. Yeah. Mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's another yeah. combat I love Mafia. blueprint yeah. that's available. I can get yeah. that blueprint for Unreal, so I should include that somehow <laughs> yeah, in the like, mechanism. Like, like, um, oh, they're in the waiting room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's, yeah, she's just in the waiting room. Okay. <laughs> that's adorable. She's fucking loud in the waiting room. They're not even fucking playing. Dude, they're wilding out in the waiting with the waiting room. Jeez. Quite loud. Yeah. Anyway. 
<laughs> I, lo I love going into her chat and talking shit about you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So that's my favorite thing to do. Like, I, yeah, oh, cool. Moe's streaming. I'm just going to go talk shit about Flood. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. I go in there. And you talk, always walk go, in the room. And another you're, thing. Always, you're always walking in the room, too. I'm like, I'm over she here talking me. shit. She's laughing, too. She's laughing about it. She's reading my shit out loud. She always reads yeah, my shit out loud. Trash. I love it. She's a trash. I'm like, girlfriend. this is awesome. I could just type anything and she's going to say it out loud. And then you always walk in the room. You're like, oh, what's going on? Oh, this fucking guy. Every time. Every time I go in there, you just have to be saying some fucking bullshit Dude, every time. Every time. It is no joke. Every single time. It's fantastic. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ryan Hennard says, I mean, turned 90 degrees from where it is. You could see the lines running in the same direction as the axe when you look at it from the top. What? Yeah. That wouldn't make sense. So you're saying you saying they should go this way? No, you couldn't do that, Ryan. Like the axe should like, go this way, and they should. If go you this have way? like, if you have like a wood chopping axe that's like a good like two feet or or three feet long, like you would have to cut a tree that's like three feet wide and use like the yeah. No, that doesn't no, make that sense. Works. You want it. You want the length. That's when you look up axe handles, they're all going this way. Yeah, the, 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 it way. goes. It goes with the yeah. unless you, you with like it. made it out of a branch and you spun it on a lathe, like a like a baseball bat. All the Eric Dale but says also baseball bats days. are long ways too. Yeah, the they are. Yeah, you spin them along the grain. Uh, Eric yeah. Dale says, Adam, am I going to see you on late night TV one day peddling the Swedish version of the Ginsu knife? Nah, I I mean, dude, I, those people make fucking. Bank, if I do, if I'm there one day, I, I'll. If if they're good, totally. Numbers. Would you do that I for nut cream? I would absolutely, without a doubt. Okay. Hook me up, nut cream. Hook me up. <laughs> got his, like, at the ready, I still haven't opened it. I feel bad. I don't want to open it. You know? <laughs> don't open it. Once it's open, it's gone. But, but you've tasted it though. You've I had tasted you've the had, sweet nectar. You've, you've the had. Don't cream. do it. Don't do it. That's. Don't no, he's had, he's had it before, so he knows. I thought you were going to say you yeah. had my nut cream. I thought you were going to make sure to say my well, nut cream. You've had my nut cream, right? <laughs> Order in the answer fucking it. court. Order in the court. <laughs> An answer the question, Flood. <laughs> I'm going to be holding you in contempt. Answer the question. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I had Garrett's nut cream. Wow. You, you'd prefer that his you nut cream? You gave him? We, we swapped? Yeah, you'd we swapped. prefer nut his nut cream <laughs> over nut my cream. nut cream? I mean, I have never I had traveled thousands of cream. miles to take that nude cream to your mouth. He's, yes. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like about to agree with it. I mean, no lies I detected. Of the visual, though. bro. I thought of the visual. That's nasty. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, while you guys were laughing about this, I looked over at Andreas and I've never seen him more bored. So sad. Talking about <laughs> nut cream. That's you know, not I think true. It's, it's probably jealousy. You just want some of my nut cream. Don't you? I, think I still have a packet cream. for you, man. I think he feels it's the weird. way about it. Yeah, I just I'm left out. I just don't have. I, <laughs> I know. I knew that's I what I have. Was. I have my. Bro. I don't mean left out. If it just he's like not. Never mind. No, it's, man. I gotta get out. this guy some some nut cream. Yeah. I actually have to get more because I'm out. I haven't had some in a while. You have fucking tubs, and you. What do you mean? How do you? They're gone. Oh Hell God. yeah! What are you talking oh, about? This guy's a madman. What? <laughs> I don't even put it on anything. Maniac. I just spoon that shit right into my mouth. <laughs> I'm a maniac, bro. Bro, they probably be good you... with like those Dunkaroo chips. I mean, cookies. Oh, bro, oh, oh yeah, you, you like, like celery? Like that, huh? Nut cream. It's good on anything. What the <laughs> fuck? Like that, huh? Celery. Don't ask me if I Celery's like that, disgusting. Huh? That's my point. I was saying nut cream is so good you could eat it with celery. That's nasty. If I was don't right. any nut cream. I don't look. Don't give him any. No, it's not. Because it's, it's low cal <laughs> calorie, you know? You, it's like yeah, nothing. So, really. Isn't whatever. celery like the one thing that you can eat that actually requires more energy than you get from it? There's yeah, more really? than that. Yeah. Like iceberg to digest lettuce, it? Iceberg lettuce takes more calories than, than celery. Yeah. Is. Only if you really? eat like the, the center of it. Celery is a eat palate the green, the outer outer part. I like celery. Now, fuck whatever. celery. Celery is disgusting. Celery's, celery's out. Okay. Whatever. Celery's ass and stringy. <laughs> I can't put a, st a stock of celery in with my chicken broth. All right, I'm good. No, I won't do it. Don't you only, dude. Only if you cut it into really small bits and cook the shit out of it, so it's not <laughs> stringy. Then it's maybe. Nasty. And at that then point, why even do that when you have like exactly? Yeah, You're right. Thank like you. All kinds of Fuck other celery. vegetables. There it is. I'm glad we're. I'm, I'm glad just, we're all on the same page. I'm, I'm assuming, merch, I'm assuming fennel. Fennel is out of the question then as well. We're not doing fennel. Fennel. What the hell is fennel? 
All right, never mind. Fennel. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look it up. All right, fine. I've never heard of this before in my life. Did, did you say fentanyl? That's fentanyl. what I thought he said. I was about to say no. No, no let's not be uh, so not quick final. to judge here. It's like a celery, but a little bit more. It has even more of that. Celery flavor. It looks like it's seeds. more annoying. I like fennel. It's got a I bigger bulb enough. at the end of the celery. Basically, it looks like a heart. Fennel vegetable. It's good. Actually, yeah, this doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of oh, like shit. leeks. Brussels sprout. I, I think I have like fennel on my property. There's a it's plant. Good. Does it kind of smell like celery? A little bit. Yeah, it's a little different, but it's a little bit. Dude, I like it. I like that. Stuff. I have a massive fennel plant on my property. It smells like celery, but it's not celery. But yeah. it's this looks like this. You it's think it's fennel. Oh, a little bit like some turkey. I got fennel. Some you think it's than celery? Fennel and like Andreas? what? Do you think it's better than celery? I mean, they're apples and oranges are fennel and celery. Like this, you're the one different. who just said they were the same. They're, what they're related. They're definitely, now? they're related. Definitely, <laughs> they're definitely like gastro. <laughs> you can't do that. You they taste different. They de they definitely taste different. So, but uh, yeah, they taste. I, I think I don't know. It's hard to the say. Same like, I feel or like different? It's not like you're about to say the same like, again. Did, I feel like if you didn't like celery, you probably wouldn't like fennel. But okay. they're so different that actually, to be fair, you should try it so you know the difference because they're not. It's not okay. really the same thing. I don't hmm. know. Metastasis Eric takes fennel recreationally. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Dale says it takes a lot of nut cream to get through the Swedish winter, apparently. It's like a licorice fennel. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you, Mon. Why? It's Man. true. Uh, it's true. Juan Castle says, yo, Craigs, are you signing up for the Swedish army? No. Why? Why, what? why would I do that? No, they're in NATO now. I have zero yeah. interest. Yeah. yeah. If they weren't in NATO, I'd think about it. You could join Wang now, Wangle now Nut. that they join now that join NATO. I have zero interest. Wangle Nut wanna... and, and Shay, the Blackwater's paramilitaries in Sweden, so you could get involved with them. Yeah, I'm. Really I'm, I'm. I'm going to make knives and become a, a bushcrafter. <laughs> That's a gateway uh, drug to Blackwater. I don't. I don't want to fight for a, <laughs> a, a <laughs> government. <laughs> 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 that's a gateway oh brutal the black water that's wild <laughs> <laughs> you know it's you know it's funny i was playing final fantasy 7 rebirth and one of the bad guys is his name's hojo he's a scientist and they're flying in this helicopter and he's explaining to the president about something and he goes this was a watershed moment for this this whatever and i'm like how the fuck would he know what a watershed mm. moment is. Ah, I don't get it. Like, yeah. Well, a watershed was the scandal with Reagan. Uh, it was oh, is about that water. No, watershed. Uh, I don't know well, exactly you mean about water it. Gate? But... Watergate. Oh, water no, no, no. Those two, two different things. Wait. Oh, well, what is water? What is you're the right. watershed Watergate moment? Is the watershed right. moment, moment is where water goes yeah. over the dam. Things get overflowed. Yeah. It's like now but, things oh, are coming to yeah, a head the, now. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not about Watergate. That would be really. Yeah, that's funny. what. Oh, I was, it's not. Confuse me. I meant Watergate. I didn't mean Blackwater. I, Andres watershed. Is watershed's head. like I broke the dam. You know, it's like the water goes. Oh, the okay. Yeah. I do know what you're talking about, though. Sometimes. Nah, all right, then never mind. Him and Garrett agreed on that, Andres. Yeah. No, I thought so you're right. Stupid. I love an acronym. <laughs> <That's so> dumb. <laughs> okay, a watershed moment is saying, a turn though. Is a turning point or historic <laughs> event that changes the direction of an activity or a situation. Oh, it is a dividing up, point up. of which Where did it, it will from? never be the same the or considered same mountainous. Andreas. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So we're mixing right, up Watergate and Watershed. All right. All right. I know what you're right. saying, though. Like, there's movies or, or games that are outside of, like, in a different fantasy world, and they'll yeah, use yeah, yeah. terms from our That's world not that one of don't them, make sense. Right. Right. Yes, I got. I gathered that. No, I got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have to get it in because every once on. in a while. Hold on, hold on one sec. I came you know. in getting shit on. That's why I had to. I had to find something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I came in. This is another annoying thing about that game, Starfield. Is that right? Is that? Uh, in but it, it could like, be true. All yeah, the computers. True. <laughs> this is true. It could be true. Adam. Okay, it could be true. It could be true. <laughs> right, Andres? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it in Starfield how all the computers like you go to like plants where computers are 300 years young older or whatever and they all have the same operating system it's like are you kidding me oh, yeah, like, I, I have a computer from six months ago it doesn't look anything like the way computers yeah. look now like how can you expect yeah. I don't know that bothered me yeah no that's a good point though yeah I like that and, and that's annoying I could see that that breaks yeah, but they don't think about the it what what do they make they made this brand new game on 
Skyrim graphics yep. and Skyrim AI and Skyrim everything. Skyrim, it's like, this, it's like yeah. they didn't advance at all. All they did was just Fucking make it in years space. Later, more than 10 years it's later. It's like, cool. I don't know. All actually, right, well, Skyrim has a way better story. Like they does. Yeah. They don't. They yeah. lost. Like they really lost themselves. You you mentioned this, but I think I need to harp on it more. Is game mechanics is everything, and people forget. Facts. Like GTA was an RPG, tabletop RPG that was played once before yep. they made it into a game. If you don't do that every time you make a game, you're basically not making a script for a movie. You're going water world with your game, and that's what yeah. the people. I keep seeing it. We're like, well, we'll just work on a game. It's like no. Like, hey, Waterworld was a good movie. I like that. I actually, that. I actually that like Waterworld. I like Waterworld too. But I, I tried I so saying. hard to get Ian to like Waterworld, and I can't do it. But I love Waterworld. Yeah. Wait, Wait, but Ian doesn't like Waterworld. Ian doesn't knowing. like Waterworld. I tried so hard, but I couldn't get it. What? It's Why? It's fucking great. Dennis oh, Hopper, come on, dude. Dude, it's Mad one of Dennis Hopper's greatest. Everest. It's Mad Max with water instead of I think, sand. I think. Yeah. The, they really should fix the edit though, because like the original plan for that first scene with the weird wizard guy, like the inventor dude, like there was more to that movie. And like I want, I don't know, I want the other, like I want the rest of what they mm. were trying to do. That's what that's the worst thing about when you're working on a project, and then they come <laughs> home with a script. They're like, well, here's what we want to do instead. You know. <laughs> I see what Sam Dylan said. <laughs> Waterworld was Nixon, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> that's a good callback right there that's a classic i don't i don't often bring comments on the screen nah, that was a good one that was a good one i thought at the same time oh man I, that was that was oh, very that was very good. nice yeah, that salt. very nice very that was yeah, fantastic that holy shit <laughs> All right. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. My lights are about to turn off because uh, it's. Uh, oh no, it's only two. You're Great. Whoa, only no two, bro. That's yeah, crazy. Okay. It's only two. Normally, it'd be about three because yeah. I, we're going for two and a half hours. Um, that's freaking cool. I like that. Uh, well, Flaud, he's 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 gonna go play Among some Us. Among Us with uh, Mo and that. She's got a big crew. I guess yeah. she's playing with us. It's my like crew. A lot of people but yeah. There. She steals yeah. my crew now that she streams way more than I do. You know what I mean? Adam and I stream, one. and they don't even come to my stream anymore. They only go to her stream now. Well, she's, 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 she's clearly cooler yeah. than you. She um, And uh, check out me. Andreas. Uh, you stream, you stream United, like all the time. So. I'm about to do United States Transhumanist Party interview with Gennady Stoyarov. So, Whoa. yeah, hardcore transhumanism about to go down. I didn't understand Whoa. a word you just said, but I'm fascinated. Wow. Dude, Exciting. Wow. The transhumanist Political Party of America. <laughs> nice. Uh, Oh, it's not actually funny. Um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, you're playing some Resident Evil, huh? Resident <laughs> Evil. The first one with the tank controls and all of it. Restored tonight. Uh, high graphic. The new oh, yeah. You're yeah. a gamer for real for doing that. It's I'm fun. Alive. It's fun. Looks beautiful. Really the, is. Hair, the hair looks amazing. I can't wait to see. Again. Jill. But yeah, about an hour. We still got 1,300 people watching. Fucking wow. wow. You guys are awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Eric Dale, real quick, says uh, we're all one EMP from our video me mechanics being chased, chasing a hoop with a stick. Uh, also, Waterworld is a classic. Postman, too. I never saw Postman. I got. Oh my god! Postman. Please Postman's watch the awesome. Postman and Iron Sky, please, for the love of Postman. God. All right, the Postman really matters to me. Super Mario Brothers. Watch that movie. Classic. Classic. I've, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah the first one was on Pierce Morgan. The Postman's a yeah. movie I can recommend without what? you getting yeah. it. Yeah, that's who he, yeah. he couldn't say yesterday. He couldn't announce what? it. What? He was on Pierce Morgan. This dude is fucking yeah. everywhere. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta, uh, I gotta what? check that out. Uh, all right, everyone. Thanks that's for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you're wherever you're watching, please subscribe. Please follow. Please share. Do all those things. In the description, you can find all the links for all the guys that join us here on Base Half Monday. I really appreciate you all, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Peace.